percent today, and the bigger numbers are up on the board, including your RBI totals for a guy like Meadows. One thing I think that's really stuck out to us, knowing this run of division titles, six in a row, go back to the start of 2018. Braves have done a really nice job taking care of business against division opponents. How about this number? 248 and 149. That's a 625 winning percentage against teams from the National League East. It's also 36 and a half games better than any other team in the division. That is really impressive. When you talk about recipe for success, handle business here in your own division. Yeah, uh, and getting out of the gate early. Um, you know, we remember the year they won the World Series. Everybody goes back to it. What was it, August, whatever it was, before the team got over 500. Y you can do it that way. You can do it really any way you want. Uh, you know, it's who's standing at the end and who's healthy at the end really matters. But I, I kind of like putting some of these in the bank. Yeah. You know, this is what you do. They're all created equally in that regard, no doubt about it. They don't feel created equally, especially at certain times during the year. When you're going well, you think you're invincible. When you're going poorly, oh, my God, I thought we were good. Can we get out of it? Certainly late in the year, you talk about, hey, what do we need, magic numbers and everything else. But if you can start putting wins in the bank, uh, and, and the White Sox are not going to be a good team. Now, I will tell you, one of the great equalizers will be weather next week. If, if they play all three in Chicago, and it doesn't matter in what form and fashion, if it takes four days, if there's a doubleheader, I think – advantage to the lesser team because i probably have to do something with good pitchers as opposed to you i've got to get my good pitchers out of there a little bit sooner than i think you have to get yours out so we'll see i don't want to look too far ahead uh, did you just get more news on the whole tarp gate thing yeah it sounds like it might be about a 45 minute delay it, give or take we're hoping it's all right ladder all right <laughs> ladder <laughs> maybe right. not quite Quite, not quite that did that length, but I'll come up with something if we do have a rain delay show. All right, all right. Uh, by the way, real quick before we break, Braves nine runs yesterday, their most in the first game of the season since a 16 run output against the Cubs in 2010. So putting up nine, and again, you talk about pitching matchups, it's usually going to be tough to come by. I think the over under number was like six and a half. They handled that pretty pretty well by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we and we got a, a prize picks coming up. And we do. I, can I do something a little bit unprecedented? Sure. I'm going to put a multiple player play. Ooh, multiple right. player play into play today. All right. Well, we'll have that coming up. Because I'm feeling a little bit froggy. Oh, you are. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit froggy. All right. Before we step aside, let's take a look at what's on deck. Brought to you by Timber Tech. Everything wood should be. Visit them online at TimberTech.com. When we return, we'll dig into the past. And Chris Domino is going to go 2-0 to start the season with his prize picks pick of the game. That plus more as we continue right after this on the Braves Radio Network. Hello, I'm Neil Pruitt, Chairman and CEO of Pruitt Health. We believe family makes us stronger. Pruitt Health has served families and communities throughout the Southeast for more than 50 years. If you're looking for skilled nursing, home health, or hospice care, count on our caregivers to provide the personalized plan your loved one needs. Learn more, visit PruittHealth.com. Pruitt Health is a proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Looking for the perfect match? Oh, yeah. Look at you. Find a vehicle you'll love at the Toyota Ready, Set, Go event. Toyota, let's go places. Lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for 329 a month for 36 months. Offer valid through April 1st, 2024. Well-qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3628 to its signing. No security deposit with select equipment. 350 disposition fee excludes tax tag, registration, title, and dealer fee. See dealer for details. Home is here. It's this place. It's this team. Though our hometowns and backgrounds may be different, it is here that we are one. Whether we're sitting side by side in these seats or watching from hundreds of miles away, we share one heart and one home. We are. We are. We are Braves Country. Win up to $100,000 every three and a half minutes playing Keno. Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. I got hurt in a car wreck. Why should I call a Ken Nugent law firm? Because when you're hurt, you need money. You deserve it. And my law firm goes and gets it for you. Results are what I'm looking for. Why wouldn't I call the Ken Nugent law firm? Our job is to get you as much money as possible for your case. One call, that's all. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Call 1-800-CALL-CAN. Client portrayal. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC, Attorneys at Law. 1355 Patriot Street, Northeast, Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Braves 
fans, this season has just started and everyone's first pick for ice cold refreshment is back at McDonald's. The Braves Frozen Fanta, a winning blend of Frozen Fanta Blue Raspberry and Frozen Fanta Wild Cherry. It's the MVP of flavor. And right now you can get a medium for only $1.99. That's what I call knocking your cravings out of the park for a grand slam of a deal. There are drinks, then there are drinks from McDonald's. Prices of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Coca-Cola and Fanta are registered trademarks of the Coca-Cola Company. Grandma, can I have the chocolate chips? This secret recipe moment made possible by Emory Heart and Vascular Center. When Grandma needed heart care, she came to Emory. The difference? Emory Healthcare performs more heart procedures annually than anyone else in Georgia, which means better outcomes for our patients. And we offer advanced and personalized treatments developed by our top specialists that others don't. Like Grandma knows, where you start your heart care matters. Smart Cookie. EmoryHealthcare.org slash Smart Cookie. Two of the best teams in the world, your Atlanta Braves and the locker room. Brian Finner in here, and you can listen live Monday to Friday, 6 to 10 a.m., 6 to 8 to the fan, or tap that app. You're listening to the Ford Leadoff Show, brought to you by your local Ford dealer and the legendary Bronco lineup of off-road SUVs, designed, engineered, and built wild. Learn more about the Ford Bronco and Bronco Sport at buyfordnow.com. It is the Ford Leadoff Show on a Saturday afternoon. Thanks for hanging with us. He's Chris Domino. I'm Kevin McAlpin. And what do you say we dig into the past and take a look at baseball history? We're setting the plate for today's game, but we're also digging into the past. Developers and engineers, if you need a cultural resources survey, then contact the best Wiregrass Archaeological Consultants at diggingintothepast.com. All right, Chris, I want to take you back to this date in 1966, and no, it doesn't have a Braves tie, but I thought this was very interesting. On this date, March the 30th, 1966, both Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale's refusal to report to spring training comes to an end when both pitchers agree to the Dodgers' offer of $235,000. Koufax signs for $130,000, Drysdale for one hundred five, and that holdout lasted 32 days, and that sort of led the way for other players to be in similar positions to hold out for more money. Yeah, not surprising. Next year, 1967, Marvin Miller and the Players Association starts. And the Dodgers said, here's our offer, 235. You guys split it up. That's really what they said. You guys figure out. That's it. We're going to pay 235 for the both of you. It turns out to be Sandy Koufax's last year. Ho-hum, win 27 games, can't brush your hair and walk away. Go to the booth for a little bit. Yeah, the, the Dodgers really did say 235 total. Split it up. And it really is amazing, too, when you think about his numbers. We talk about wins and losses, 165 wins over 12 seasons. But then you start looking at that baseball reference page. I, five, I bet there's five years. Yeah. It's a five year span. It really is. They had tw- 25 and 5 and 63, 26 and 8, and then leads the National League 27 and 9 and 66. He's an all star and walks away. That's it. 27 complete games. Yeah. A 173 ERA. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he was done. Yeah. But at least he got the $130,000. You've interviewed Koufax, correct? No, I've spoken to him a couple of times. Oh, not I- officially. I got him at here when the all century team thing. He surprised everybody. Nobody knew he was coming. Then I got him, I spoke to him in spring training, and I got him on the phone. He's a big Kansas basketball fan. You know who's as big a fan of basketball as baseball? I've heard that, yeah. yeah. He, he, I got him in a hotel room. We spoke for 15 minutes. Wow. Didn't record it. Mm. He didn't want to do it. Yeah, he didn't want to, he didn't want to, he, as he said to me, Chris, wasn't this enough? I swear to God, that was his line to me. No. So Mr. Koufax, when you get back to Los Angeles, can we maybe, Chris, wasn't this enough? Wow. I said, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, you see him quite a bit at Dodger Stadium, still taking in games. 88 years old. Still look, he looks great for 88. Yeah, he's dapper. Yes, he is. I don't even know what the word dapper means, but I know it's him. <laughs> it definitely is. Dapper. Well, one thing that's going to be dapper, Chris, I know, is your prize picks pick of the game. I got a shot. I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little bit crazy though. All right. We're going to get a little bit more detail on Reese Hoskins yesterday, perhaps. Why, again, he got hit, almost hit today. All right, well, let's do that on the other side. We'll send you to Philly, and it sounds like you and I will get back together for just a little while. The tarp is still on the field in Philadelphia. So we'll get to a prize picks, and we may have some phone calls coming up here in just a little while on the Ford Leadoff Show coming up next on the Braves Radio Network. Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble. Yeah? Free alignment and a free oil change? On any four tire purchase. And Michelin's up to 175 off? Right. Sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. 
What do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelins and save up to 175 more. See store for details. Bring spring color inside this season with Bear Premium Plus paint starting at $28.98 a gallon at the Home Depot. Add a pop of blue to your kitchen with the Bear exclusive color Arrowhead Lake. Or a splash of Amazon Jungle to your living room. Bring a cool breeze to your bathroom with sea glass. Whatever your inspiration, start your spring with durable colors that last all season with Bear Premium Plus paint starting at $28.98 a gallon at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Teamwork, chemistry, and a carefully developed roster are all paramount to success on the baseball field. The same is true when it comes to creating a winning lineup of tractors. It all begins with strong leadership and a clear vision of the future. That's why TYM Tractors has partnered with the Atlanta Braves, a shared vision on the right way to achieve greatness. Together as one, hear us roar. TYM Tractors, a proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Game-changing performance on the field to getting things done around the house, doers make a difference. And when it comes to home improvement needs delivered right to your door, the Home Depot is how doers get more done. Hey, don't strike out in your next roofing project. Braves fans, this is Joe Simpson. You need a new roof, it's time to call Matt's Exteriors. Matt's Exteriors is a GAF Master Elite Contractor, and they offer a 10-year workmanship warranty. Did I mention they are also a proud sponsor of the Atlanta Braves? Matt's Exteriors also has a 15-plus year proven track record, and they have over 9,000 satisfied customers. To schedule your free estimate today, visit mattsexteriors.com. That's mattsexteriors.com. No matter where you're headed, Sitco is a good place to start. Whether you're off to the ballpark, dog park, or amusement park, driving range or drive-in theater, Saturday morning soccer or Sunday brunch, Sitco top-tier tri-clean gasoline gets you where you're going and keeps your engine running cleaner and smoother along the way. Whether you're traveling near or far, when you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Good to go. Hey everyone, want to hear an amazing stat I learned from my doctor at Peachtree Orthopedics? He told me 90% of their patients get better without surgery. Once I heard that, my worries totally went away. I got the right diagnosis, followed by the recovery protocol with a little PT, and the next thing I knew, I was better. I can't believe I put it off as long as I did. I promise they have the right program for you, too. Simple steps so you can get better. Call now to make an appointment or visit peachtreeorthopedics.com. So when you want the Braves on demand, just tap that 680 The Fan app. So make sure you download it now and don't miss a pitch of the Braves this season. Covering all the bases on the Ford Leadoff Show. Brought to you by your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of your Atlanta Braves. Final segment on the Ford Leadoff Show. And before we send you to Philadelphia, let's get to our prize picks. Pick of the game. It's time for the Prize Picks Picks of the Game. Brought to you by Prize Picks. Win up to a hundred times your cash this season on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app and partner of the Atlanta Braves. Download Prize Picks today and use code Braves for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. All right, Chris, we got ten seconds. What do you yeah, got? This is my uh, my rain delay. Schwarber over half a base. Matt Olson. And Austin Riley hits runs RBI over one and a half. All right, we'll see how it goes. Got to get to Philly. What are the obstacles? Setbacks. Twists and turns. Never lose sight of the destination. Because when you get there, the next adventure is just beginning. I'm Mike Harris the second. Follow your own path. Check out the Ford Bronco and Ford Bronco Sport SUVs at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of your Atlanta Braves. Some models, trims, and features may not be available and may be subject to change. I'm what you might call very good at hide-and-seek. And since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house. Even in my super-secret hiding spots. So I can kill time in here by streaming my favorite... Ha! Found ya. How? Left find my tablet on. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi on the Xfinity 10G network. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Actual speeds vary.
Hey there, baseball fans. Ben Ingram here. It's time to step up to the plate and upgrade your deck with Timber Tech. Timber Tech is the number one premium composite decking brand. It looks just like real wood, but without the never-ending maintenance of a wood deck. It won't rot or splinter, and it's backed by industry-leading warranties, so you'll be sure your deck looks great season after season. See for yourself why Timber Tech is everything wood should be. Order free samples at TimberTech.com. Dive into the ultimate dining experience at National Anthem Atlanta in the heart of the Battery Atlanta and the Omni Hotel, the official hotel of the Atlanta Braves. Book your stay at OmniHotels.com slash Battery Atlanta. Hey, Atlanta, want to know the best thing about Urgent Ortho at Peachtree Orthopedics? Well, it's really great. First, they offer appointments the same day, on Saturday, or in the evening, so I can go when it works for me. Next, you get to avoid the crowded ER, and probably the best part, it costs less than the ER, too. All that, and it's a total no-brainer. So why should you try Urgent Ortho at Peachtree Orthopedics? Simple, to get better. Call now to make an appointment or visit peachtreeorthopedics.com. Braves fans, this season has just started and everyone's first pick for ice cold refreshment is back at McDonald's. The Braves Frozen Fanta, a winning blend of Frozen Fanta Blue Raspberry and Frozen Fanta Wild Cherry. It's the MVP of flavor. And right now you can get a medium for only $1.99. That's what I call knocking your cravings out of the park for a grand slam of a deal. There are drinks, then there are drinks from McDonald's. Prices of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Coca-Cola and Fanta are registered trademarks of the Coca-Cola Company. Home is here. It's this place. It's this team. Though our hometowns and backgrounds may be different, it is here that we are one. Whether we're sitting side by side in these seats or watching from hundreds of miles away, we share one heart and one home. We are. We are. We are Braves Country. No one's got you covered, Braves country, the way that myself and my partner, Nick Cellini, do, starting 11 o'clock on 680 The Fan, the 680 The Fan app. Braves baseball every day this year with 680 The Fan. The road to a seventh straight division title starts right now. 2-2 two, two pitch. And there's a bullet out to center field. Down for a base hit. Here comes the throw. Play at the plate. Braves win it! A walk-off base hit. The Braves are back. And this 2024 team is ready for another epic season. Austin puts a charge in another one, though. Deep left center. Schwarber's not even going to move. That's another homer for Riley. Atlanta Braves baseball on the Braves radio network is brought to you by the original Louisiana hot sauce. Flavor favors the bold. Your local Ford dealers, proud partner of your Atlanta Braves. The Home Depot, how doers get more done. Your local Hyundai dealer, proud sponsor of the Atlanta Braves. John Foy and Associates Personal Injury Law. Get the strong arm. Arrow exterminators, make the right call and protect your home or business from pests by calling 888-GO-ARROW. Georgia Power, the Official electric energy partner of the Atlanta Braves. Xfinity, the next generation 10G network only from Xfinity. The future starts now. Yanmar Tractors and Engines, an official partner of the Atlanta Braves grounds crew. Peachtree Orthopedics, same day evenings and Saturdays. It's time to get better. Mass Exteriors, roofing, siding, windows, and more. IBEW Local 613. Truest Park keeps the lights on with IBEW 613 electricians. George's own ASW Distillery, home of Fiddler Gin Music, Weed and Bourbon, a collaboration with the Braves. SeatGeek, the official ticket marketplace of the Atlanta Braves. Your Atlanta area Lexus dealer, experience amazing. Simply Sport, the official CBD partner of your Atlanta Braves. Corona Extra, find your beach with Corona. Plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians, local union 72. Keeping Atlanta comfortable is what we do, and we do it better than anyone what else? TYM Tractors, a winning lineup, together as one. Timber Tech decking and railing, everything wood should be. Visit TimberTech.com. City of Hope Atlanta, making hope a reality.
reality for cancer patients throughout the Southeast. Attorney Ken Nugent, one call, that's all. Today, the season opening series continues in Philadelphia as Ronald Acuna and the Braves take on the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. This is Atlanta Braves Baseball on the Braves Radio Network, lit by Louisiana Hot Sauce. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome into Atlanta Braves Baseball. This afternoon from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it's game two in a series of three between the Braves and the Phillies. It'll be Max Fried on the mound for the Braves, and he faces Aaron Nola for Philly. Alongside Joe Simpson and our producer engineer, Jonathan Chadwick, Ben Ingram here with you. And Joe, nothing like an opening day win to get things started. Everybody feeling really good this morning. I thought it was a great win yesterday. Come from behind win against the Phillies. And especially after the way uh, both Strider and Wheeler pitched, it looked like it was going to be a low-scoring game. But once uh, the Braves were able to get to the bullpen for the uh, Phillies, it certainly blew up and took advantage of a lot of walks from the Phillies, too. It really did. And how about the Braves pitching staff? 15 strikeouts yesterday. That's a great opening act. Everybody in their lineup struck out at least one time except the number 9 hitter, Rojas, who was 0 for 2 but no Ks. But uh, the top of the order is the ones that... Uh, that got handled yesterday. No hits at all from the top three guys, top four guys in their order with a ton of strikeouts. Yeah, really nice job on the mound by the Braves yesterday. And yesterday we were talking about Spencer Strider facing Zach Wheeler. First time either had been an opening day starter. The matchup that we have today, if you look back throughout the offseason, you might have projected this would be the opening day matchup with Nola and uh, and Freed. So very excited for this matchup. Well, and it was, if you believe uh, what was written and what everybody thought in the offseason uh, could be that Aaron Nola is pitching today for the Braves because they made a big rush to try to sign him as a free agent, but Nola elected to stay in Philadelphia. And uh, the Braves will try to make him pay for that today, of course. But uh, anxious to see Max Freed out there, and I'm really anxious to see Max pitch a full season without any stints on the IL. Let's hope this is the first of 32, 33 starts this year. Absolutely. Speaking of the IL, just one piece of bad news yesterday, Sean Murphy to the IL. He'll be out a couple of weeks with that oblique, so that's a, a sour note to begin the season. Yeah, it stinks. It really does to start the season like that and have to deal with something like that. But uh, if anybody saw the, the swing on a replay, you can understand how the body was torqued in such a way that uh, it was no no room for error there and uh, hopefully Sean will be back very soon you know what's great for us today we don't have to use everything that we own as a paperweight today yeah conditions a lot better today yeah it's a nice day pretty day sunny day and a lot lighter wind yeah, this might be the best day weather-wise of the entire trip. We're full looking yeah. ahead of Chicago, <laughs> expecting some snow once we get there. You don't you don't like snow in baseball season? <laughs> We're only going to get three or four inches. Oh, man. Well, let's just enjoy the day while we have it. Sounds like a good plan. When we come back, Joe will introduce you to the starting nine for both teams. And right after that, we'll have the first pitch of the ball game. Braves and the Phillies coming up on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Look, some choices in life are complicated. Others, thankfully, are much simpler, like choosing true as one checking. There are no overdraft fees, lots of practical perks, and when your life evolves and account balances grow, we'll upgrade your perks automatically. Truest One Checking. One simple choice. Truest Bank. Member FDIC. Hey Braves fans, spring and warm weather are officially here and you know what that means. Bugs, termites, mosquitoes, ants and roaches will be out in full force. Luckily, you can trust the pros at Arrow Exterminators to keep your home pest free inside and out. Arrow Exterminators protects homes and businesses and is the official pest control provider of Truist Park and the Atlanta Braves. So you know that you're getting the best from the best. To set up a free pest inspection, call 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. That's 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. The original Louisiana brand hot sauce is the official hot sauce of the Atlanta Braves. Aggressive enough to wake up your taste buds without overpowering your meal. The original Louisiana brand hot sauce. Flavor favors the bold. Winning is what the Atlanta Braves do. In the past 25 years, they've won 15 division titles. And in 2021, they were the champions of it all. They know what it takes to win. And so do I. We've been fighting and winning for injured people for more than 25 years, earning our clients hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why if you're hurt and winning is your only option, get the strong arm. Attorney John Foy and Associates. Proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Cheers to a great day and this ice-cold Corona. 
You know what would make this day even better? My grandma's carne asada. Or your grandma here with us, making carne asada. She does love a cold Corona. Throw in some dancing. Oh, we can watch the game. I'll drink to that. So a backyard concert with football, food, dancing, and Corona? And your grandma. Or we could keep it simple. Simple is good. You want a Corona? Thanks. Salud to the perfect day. Corona. La vida más fina. Get your Corona at ordercorona.com. Relax responsibly. Corona extra beer imported by Crown Import, Chicago, Illinois. Home is here. It's this place. It's this team. Though our hometowns and backgrounds may be different, it is here that we are one. Whether we're sitting side by side in these seats or watching from hundreds of miles away, we share one heart and one home. We are. We are. We are Braves Country. Hey, it's Kevin McAlpin, and I'm talking Braves with the Locker Room every weekday morning at 745 on Atlanta Braves Today, exclusively on The Fan. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park. Time for a look at today's starting lineups. But before we give you those, let's pause for station identification on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. This is Atlanta's one and only home for Braves baseball. WCNN North Atlanta, a Dickey Broadcasting Station. The Fan, 680 and 93.7 FM. Only some minor changes today for both sides uh, in the starting lineups. First, we're for the Atlanta Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr., of course, will lead it off and play right field. Ozzie Albies bats second. He'll play second base. Austin Riley's had good numbers against Aaron Nola. He'll bat third and play third base. Matt Olson, a day older, but man, a three for five day, three doubles yesterday. He'll be at first base batting cleanup. Batting fifth, the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Michael Harris, the second, also had three hits yesterday. He'll be in center field. Orlando Arcia had three hits yesterday. He'll be at shortstop, hitting seventh. The addition to the lineup, Travis Darno will do the catching and bat eighth and batting ninth in right field is Jared Kelnick. Again, for the Braves, Acuna, Albies, and Riley, Olsen, Ozuna, and Harris, Arcia, Darno, and Kelnick. For the Philadelphia Phillies, really only one change to their starting lineup. But Kyle Schwarber is still in there, and he'll be the DH. Trey Turner bats second at shortstop. Bryce Harper is at first base, batting third. Doing the catching and batting cleanup, JT Real Muto. Alec Bohm had a couple of hits yesterday. He'll be at third base, batting fifth. Batting sixth in right field is Nick Cassianos. Bryson Stott will be at second base, batting seventh. The new addition to the Phillies and the new addition to their lineup will be in left field, and that's Whit Merrifield. The veteran from the American League who's got seven years in the big leagues, but his first start in the National League today. He'll bat eighth. And batting ninth playing center field is Johan Rojas. Again, for the Phillies, it's Schwarber, Turner, and Harper. Real Muto, Bohm, and Castellanos. Stott, Merrifield, and Rojas. Those are your starting lineups. We'll be back with first pitch from Philadelphia right after this timeout on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. This is your invitation to plug into a lineup of Lexus electrified vehicles built at the intersection of performance and design with a range of options to fit any lifestyle. A feeling this electric is invite only. Fortunately, you're invited. Experience the elevation of electrification and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the invitation to Lexus sales event now through April 1st. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Inventory may vary by dealer. This is for anyone doing plumbing, pipe fitting, or HVAC work. If you're not making $53 an hour total package, including health insurance, benefits, and a retirement pension, we want to talk to you. We're the plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVACR techs of UA72, and we've got a job for you. Safe conditions, working with great people in Metro Atlanta. Visit UA72.org, click join us, and we'll send you a list of openings right now. UA72.org. From powering Braves country to creating cleaner energy across the state, at Georgia Power, we're always rooting for Georgians. That's why we're the official electric energy partner of the Atlanta Braves. I think a union may be the most misunderstood organization in the country. I'm Kenny Mullen for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 613 in Atlanta, Georgia. Here's what we do. We're a group of electricians that collectively bargain with employers for better benefits and higher wages for you. That's it. If you're in construction and that sounds good to you, come join us. Visit IBEW. 
613-623-6613.org. Or call me personally, 404-523-8100. This is one of my favorite spots, Kevin. Let's go play some Kino. <laughs> At last, I found the Pirate's Cove. It's time to start digging for me treasure. No, this is a club called the Pirate's Cove. But you can win money playing Kino here. You are. You just pick 10 numbers, then Kino picks 20. The more you match, the more you win. <laughs> You'd make a great pirate goat. Grab your treasure. Win up to $100,000 every three and a half minutes playing Keno from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Braves country knows the freeze is fast. From his game day races to his freeze blast drink breaks on the go, he's all about speed, convenience, and outrunning the competition. That's why he fuels up at racetrack. Catch him cooling off with a freeze blast drink and grabbing whatever gets him going. From pizza to candy to swirl world ice cream. He can be in and out in seconds. And for the rest of us, we might not beat the freeze, but Racetrack sure gets us going. Fuel up fast at Racetrack. Proud hometown partner of the Atlanta Braves. Joe Ham here. Braves have the best lineup in baseball, and we have the best lineup on radio. Tune in every morning, Monday through Friday, to the locker room on 680 The Fan and 680 The Fan app. Welcome back to the ballpark. Joe Ben and Jay Chad with you from Citizens Bank Park. And we're going to be delayed a little bit, folks. Tarp is on the field. Had a little front move through here. If it did rain, I didn't see it. I did see some fans put their ponchos on, so that maybe was an indication down in the lower bowl that it was sprinkling a little bit. But we are going to be delayed. They are telling us that we are scheduled to resume barring some downpour at approximately 4.30. So we'll keep you posted on that. Meanwhile, Ben, a big win yesterday, a good win yesterday, as we've talked about, some good and bad, great win, but sorry to lose uh, Sean Murphy. What's your take on that? Let's talk about that for a second, about uh, how it affects the team and how you think they will use Travis Darno going forward. Well, I think it becomes a traditional uh, catcher setup where you have a number one and then a backup. And we haven't had that here with Travis and Sean. You've got two number ones, just as Snit told you, and that's not just uh, throwing that out there. But that's the case. Both of those guys would be starting catchers for just about any other team in baseball. So now you go to a more traditional setup with Travis being your number one catcher, and maybe you see um, Chadwick Trump once, maybe twice a week. We'll see how that goes, but I think it moves. So Travis getting the full load for the most part. And then maybe once we get it. If it's. Uh, take that right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm with you as far as how uh, you would expect to see this handled. Uh, the thing we have to keep in mind is that Travis Darno is now 35 years old. Just turned 35 last month. Uh, so his workload uh, may not be quite what it would be in that traditional uh, number one and then a backup but that remains to be seen. Chadwick Tromp has been up and down for the last three, four years, and what we know about him is that he's a pretty good defender. Uh, he, he catches and throws real well, and he is not shy about swinging the bat. He'll swing at anything you throw up there. Yeah, he's uh, had some big base hits over the last few years. He has, and uh, in spring training, he was as aggressive and got off to a great start in spring training this year when they were trying to rest Murphy and Darno. Uh, he did a, he did a fine job. So I'm not I'm not concerned about what he brings to the table. It's just a matter of how much uh, will he be used, and uh, that remains to be seen. Yeah, it does. And uh, obviously, you're going to have to figure some things out with what that plan is right now, what your immediate plan is versus the long term. Because, like you mentioned, Travis is not 25 years old. I mean, a 35 year old catcher, you got some wear and tear on those joints and those ankles and those knees. And I wonder if you start looking around and maybe if we get two, three weeks down the road, and it's still going to be another two, three weeks for Sean Murphy. You might have to go think about some other options. We'll see how it works with that catching tandem. Oh, you know that uh, the waiver wire and all the players that have been released right here prior to the start of the season are fresh on the mind of Alex Anthopoulos. He's not going to rest easy on any of that and uh, keep an eye on some guys uh, knowing him as, as well as we do. But in the meantime, uh, both pitchers have made their way out near the bullpen area. Both are playing a little long toss, so they must feel confident 
based on what they've been told, that uh, we will start at approximately 4.30. But in the meantime, we're going to send it to our rain delay programming back in our network studios with Kevin McAlpin and Chris Domino, and they'll take your phone numbers at 404-231-1680. 404-231-1680 is the phone number, and they will take your calls right after this timeout on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Looking for the perfect match? Oh, yeah. Look at you. Find a vehicle you'll love at the Toyota Ready, Set, Go event. Toyota, let's go places. Get 2.99% APR for 36 months on a new 2024 Toyota RAV4. Offer valid through April 1st, 2024. Zero down for well-qualified buyers with approved credit and financing through Southeast Toyota Finance. 2908 monthly payment for every $1,000 finance. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fee. See dealer for details. We're number one. We're number one. I'm Cordy. Portland Spokes Pug and number one Braves fan. We all know that the Braves are number one. Did you also know that Cortland is number one? Cortland is ranked number one apartment brand on reputation.com because of the best living spaces and amazing resident service. You know what else is number one? Hot dogs and ball fetching and more hot dogs. Cortland, proud sponsor of the Atlanta Braves. Find your new apartment home at cortland.com. This is Neil Pruitt, Chairman and CEO of Pruitt Health. Pruitt Health is a proud sponsor of the Atlanta Braves. Jeff Francoeur here. This is what I love. Pruitt Health is a family-owned business started right here in Georgia. They believe family makes us stronger. They've been caring for people here for more than 50 years. If a sudden injury or illness takes you off the field and you need home health care or skilled nursing, trust the Pruitt Health family to get you back in the game. Visit PruittHealth.com. And developers, do you have a project that needs a cultural resources survey? Contact Wiregrass Archaeological Consultants at diggingintothepast.com. That's diggingintothepast.com. Hey, it's Nick Cellini. Remember, you can hear Braves baseball on the fan app and listen to me and Chris Domino weekdays, 11 to 1, here on the fan, 680 and 93.7 FM. Back to Braves baseball. Atlanta Braves baseball is in a rain delay, but we'll get you back to baseball as soon as the weather breaks. This is the Braves Rain Delay Show on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Back inside our network studios here in the Battery Atlanta, it is the Braves Rain Delay Show here on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Kevin and Chris back with you for about 20 minutes or so. Braves and Phillies game two pushed back with some weather in the Philadelphia area, and that means we're taking your calls at 404-231-1680. Want to talk a little Braves baseball? 404-231-1680 is our number. And Chris, good to know that it doesn't sound like it's raining hardly at all in Philadelphia, so we should be getting up to Philly for baseball ball here in the not too distant future joe just mentioned there were both pitchers on the field doing a little bit of long toss yeah good sign you don't want the up you don't want the down i'm not really sure why they did this uh hopefully it's not going to get so cool out quickly you know you hope it's not something that might have been over there but it drops the temperatures a lot because again you know you've heard me say it i worry about it in 90 degree weather i really worry about it as you get to the 50s with a chance to drop a little bit lower i am glad they made this at 405 instead of a 7.30, just like yesterday, for that reason, as much as anything else. Well, we avoided the rain delay show because they pushed the opener yeah. back from Thursday to Friday. We're not as lucky here today, but that means the folks have been waiting. They've been waiting for months and months yes. to get on these phone lines. 404-231-1680. The only thing I will say, I'm not speaking for you, I'm speaking for me. Okay. I'm speaking for me, not for you. Uh, if, if you want to ask how many wins you think the Braves are going to have, my answer today, my answer next month, and, and the month after that is going to be, I don't care. <laughs> like, Kevin might have an answer. My answer is, how many games do you think the Braves win? I don't care. I just need them to be a postseason team. Right. <laughs> if I'm going to caveat the whole thing, it's not with a number. It's, I'd like them to get to the postseason and be as healthy as humanly, humanly possible for a baseball team in October. Yeah. That's my answer. It's not yours. Okay. I'm just telling you that will be... <laughs> My answer. All right. 404-231-1680 is our number. Again, 404-231-1680 if you want to call in and talk a little Braves baseball. And we're going to start things off on the lines today with Austin. Austin, thanks for calling us here on the Braves Radio Network. How are you? Hey, man. Go Braves. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's on your mind? Uh, I just want to know what the other teams will look like this season. 
how the Braves not fare against the top talent in the league? Well, Austin, it's a great question. And Chris, I think that when you start talking about the competition in this National League, I think it's the Braves, it's the Dodgers. I think you throw the Phillies in there. Central, I don't really know if I have a lean one way or the other there, but those feel like the top three teams in the National League to me. I don't know how you feel about it. Arizona went to the World Series. They got Jordan Montgomery. Um, They're the ones who had a 14-run inning the other day. Ridiculous. San Francisco, you know, Matt Chapman and company over there, including Blake Snell, they might... Look, I think it's the East and I think it's the West. And everything in the Central, somebody will qualify for the postseason. <laughs> now, they might, somebody might be better than everybody else in that division and beat up on them to the point where maybe a second place team can get in. But it really does feel like it's a, it's an East with the Braves and the Phillies. And then boy, there are others. Washington's an other. Marlins is supposed to be pretty good. I'll believe it when I see it. It's not a knock. I'll just believe it when I see it. The Mets are supposed to be a better team this year, but. Their owner, Steve Cohen, just said, yeah, it feels like we should go to the postseason this year, and I'll be disappointed if they don't. That's not very emphatic. No, no. I mean, seriously, Arizona, the Dodgers, San Francisco, and San Diego feel much more like a threat than anybody this side of the Philadelphia Phillies in the division. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I do think the division will be competitive. I think the Nationals, some of their young players a year older, I think the Marlins could take a step or two back, uh, given what they accomplished a year ago. But, you know, look, the Phillies and the Braves, uh, those are the top two teams in this division. I can't take the Mets seriously until they give me a reason to take them seriously. Yeah, you might as well start it up game two of the season. Sure. Uh, they're losing again today. <laughs> they're losing their minds because they're throwing behind a guy who already hit him for a home run. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. It, it really is. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, and then I go west. Right. Like, really far west. West as west can be <laughs> when I talk about Arizona and the three California teams. There you go. Appreciate the call here, uh, Austin, on the Braves Radio Network. Tim has been hanging on for a while. Tim, how are you today? Good. How are you guys? Hey, Tim. Good. Uh, yeah, hey. So, question relating to Adam Duvall. not very emphatic. No. You know, Marcelo Zuna is the DH of this team here in the right last year, no doubt about it. Is there going to be a matchup that you like? Yeah, but I don't think you want to lose him as a pinch hitter for later. I love having that threat off the bench. You saw it yesterday, and that was that was huge. The big question for me is going to be if this is anything that's long-ish. What do you do with Darno in terms of how many starts in a row do you want to give him? Yeah. You know, with Trump, it's not going to be a, a pitching matchup situation. It's just not. It's just going to be, at what point do you say Darno has played enough days in a row? He gets a start, back to Darno. Keep an eye on an off day. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in Chicago, but I would imagine if you want to give him the two days off, you give him the day off, then you get the day off, day off, mm-hmm. and that might help him if this looks like it's going to be extended to any degree. Yeah, no question. And look, Marcel hit 40 bombs a year ago. I, I don't necessarily not ready to take him out no. of my lineup. I want, to, I want that no, threat. And, and by the way, Duval is the perfect pinch hit guy uh-huh. because of what's going to come out of the bullpen on certain days. Uh-huh. Velocity. Yep. And he can certainly hit that. 404-231-1680 is our number. Braves and... Jonah joins us on the phone lines. How are you, Jonah? Well, I am doing wonderful. I wish I could have called in yesterday, but I was at the Pacers-Lakers game, and it was a little too loud in there, so <laughs> That's I'll wait right. until the day after. We'll let you slide. I am, no, I am no longer in Arizona. I am in Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah, Jonah from Arizona is now Jonah from Indianapolis. I, I'm going to have a tough time with that one, Chris. I'm have quite the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Well, Carmel, Indiana, just north, we want to be specific, but we'll just say Indy, Jonah. Okay. It, that, I'll make it easier for you. <laughs> there you go. What's happening, Jonah? Hey, I'm excited for this season to start. Uh, I'm 
thinking about going to Pittsburgh and Minnesota this year, and I'm maybe maybe Baltimore, but you know I like that I've already seen the. all the way. I'm right there with you, Jonah. And look, health, Chris, is the big part of that, right? You got to stay healthy. But 1 through 26, I know a lot of folks are saying, well, the Dodgers had the big names this offseason. But if you want to compare rosters just strictly 1 through 26, I'll take my chances with the Braves over the Dodgers. Yeah, there's a little bit more margin of error if you're talking about, uh, you know, something not so great happening. You do have some arms down in the minor leagues that have pitched in the majors. You've got some young arms that you think at some point you're going to see anyway because that's what happens. But you also have enough offense where if a piece is missing, you have an opportunity to make up for it much more than some other teams do. Well, and I talked to Chipper Jones about it this week uh, locally here in Atlanta, and he said, think about the rotation, which has a chance to be as good as anything we had in the 90s, but also you've got an all-star in Bryce Elder at AAA. You've got A.J. smith Shaver, You have Hurston Waldrop. You have Darius Vines, Alan Winans, Dylan Dodd. You have depth like you have not had. And let's not forget, Waskari Noah coming back. Ian Anderson off of injury. Uh, to me, you sort of start talking about depth of starting pitching between the Braves and the Dodgers. That's been their Achilles heel the last couple of years. Yeah, the big move is going to be how long is Lopez is going to be in the starting yeah. rotation. That that's sort of the unanswered question for now. I don't know if what's going to happen is somebody in in minor league ball, like Gwinnett, is going to be so good that you go, okay, got to have him up. Well, okay, if you got to have him up, then the good news is you do have a, a natural slide yeah. with Lopez out of the rotation into the bullpen. Yeah. By the way, we're looking at a live look at Philadelphia. The tarp is off. Jason Kelsey recently retired. Eagle Super Bowl champion and uh, Fletcher Cox throwing out the first pitch. So you know, Phillies. Uh, those fans are uh, are loving this right now, what they're seeing with those two guys out there. That's the, the most conveniently sort of not out of line dress that I've ever seen. Travis, uh, excuse me, Jason Kelsey wear outside of that ballpark. <laughs> That's right. He actually had a Phillies jersey on, and I wasn't sure if he was going to do the Mummers thing. Yeah. Uh, if he was going to have Aladdin shoes on. I had no idea what he was going to do. <laughs> that looked very much like a guy who was, hey, man, well, that was I'm, cool. just a, a cool I'm just a Phillies fan. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go show. Well, I mean, uh, he's done it all in his time there. Yeah. With the, with the, uh, with surprised the, he didn't have Fletcher Cox actually really big, toss huh? him a beer <laughs> before they did it. Because, again, look, it's a nice day yeah. uh, in a ballpark. Nice Charlie Manuel was in a ballpark a yesterday. He had a chance to throw out the first pitch. before they. And now you have this coming up today. Charlie Manuel threw it out to Larry Boa. That was a cool moment. Charlie having a stroke about six months ago. Good to see him back upright. One of the all-time just, you want to talk about baseball lifers? Charlie Manuel's pictures in the dictionary next to baseball lifer. I don't know I just read Charlie Manuel associated with, I think he might have played, i got to look. He might have played for Billy Martin when Billy Martin was managing in the minor leagues. Wow. I was just say, there's so many, you know, two degrees of separation in baseball. i got to find out. I have a note somewhere in my pile of papers. <laughs> um, did, I, was that Harry Kellis' son who sang the National it Anthem was. yesterday? Yeah. yeah. I think he's done that before. He has. Yeah. He's, got, he's, got, he's got pipes like his old man. That's for sure. I heard it. I was like, I think I've heard this before. And yeah. then I realized, I bet you that's Harry's son. Yeah, you are. By the way, you're locked into the Braves radio network. You're probably calling. Uh, you're probably tuning into your radios going, why am I hearing Domino and McAlpin on right now? That's because we're in a little bit of a rain delay in Philadelphia. A weather delay expected to start in about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to say it. Yeah, guys, it's a little bit of a soft rain delay. Yeah. So this feels a little soft. A non-rain rain rain delay? It feels a little soft. A mist delay? It's cool and everything. I'm not in charge. <laughs> they have reasons I don't. I'm just an idiot on an AM radio show. But... <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell yourself, Sean. I'm watching what was going on. It feels a little bit soft. <laughs> 404-2311-1680 is our number. Again, 404-231-1680. You want to talk a little Braves baseball for the next seven, eight minutes, we'd be happy to take your calls. And speaking of Travis, you mentioned Travis Kelsey. Well, we have Travis joining us on the phone lines next. How are you, Travis? I'm doing fine there, Kevin. How y'all doing this year? Hello, Travis. Good, sir. Yeah, I don't want for women that I'm blind. And the question I have is, who did the Braves get rid of this year? Where did they go? And who did the Braves pick up? 
And then that question I asked you last year about show with Tony Gordon to the Dodgers, you told me you didn't think he would, they got him. Yeah, I know. You, you, Travis, you had that one. You nailed that one, man, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> you remember I told you that last year? You said, no, no way. They wouldn't give him, they wouldn't trade away nothing. Yeah. But they picked him up anyway. Yeah, yeah they did. We'll see if it, uh, we'll see if it works out in Los Angeles. Chris, the good news, and you and I uh, sort of talked about this earlier in the show, and we appreciate the call, Travis. Uh, not a lot of new faces, not a lot of folks coming and going with this Braves club. We know Soroka, uh, pitched today for the White Sox. Yep. Uh, he will get a no decision. The Tigers have tied that game at 6-6, but really, uh, saved from Eddie Rosario, there's not a whole lot of, you know, revolving pieces with this Braves club. Yeah, this Chris year. Sale is the, is the other piece. Yeah. You know, it's getting Adam Duval back, getting, getting Jared Kelnick, but if you're really talking about, um, Look, there's a toughness element, there's a third starter element, there's a guy who's been in a postseason, he certainly has had injury things, but Chris Sale was the, maybe changed a little bit of the direction of the rotation, and a couple of decisions were made upon getting Chris Sale, and they did sign him to that. There was an option year next year, but they gave him guaranteed money. So he's here for the next two years on a guaranteed money for the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, he is. And look, when you talk about solidifying things, what's been the, the bit of the downfall? It's been starting pitching come October. And if, again, fingers crossed, this, this group can stay healthy, you think about a, a five-game series where you can roll out Strider, Freed, Sale, Strider, Freed, that's a good spot to be in. Yeah, remember, that would mean Vaughn Grissom's gone. Right. Uh, I said something. I don't know if I said it on the local show yesterday or to you. I have five or six guys, though, that I could absolutely tell you now before we threw one pitch yesterday. It might have been with you that I think might be, this might be 2024, might be their last stint yeah. in a Braves uniform. You did. Charlie Morton. Uh, I look at Max Fried. I look at Adam Duvall. You know, there are, there are a handful, maybe one more, that the change could be coming a little bit in terms of numbers, a little bit bigger at the end of this year. Yeah, well, we'll uh, we'll see how that all plays out again. Fingers crossed they can stay healthy. I think Chris Sale could be a difference maker, and I'm looking forward to seeing him tomorrow against this lineup that has Schwarber, big challenging left bat uh, to start the game, Bryce Harper hitting third. You know that uh, Stott, they got some other guys in that lineup uh, that uh, are, are from the left side, so the ability to neutralize some of those lefties, the swing and miss was through the roof this spring. Yeah, was it Ben who was talking to you about because of the way he throws, what his arm angle is, his slot and everything else, he's not really a guy that you look at and say, oh, wait, everybody's got a little bit of a When Chris Sale is on, everybody's got a little bit of a problem picking up the baseball. Yeah. He's a little different looking. Mm-hmm. He is thin, man. He is he is as thin as everybody says. When yes. you see him in a uniform, you go, he's thin. He is thin. Hey, you know, I also like at this point in his career, knowing that he's 34, he'll be 35, you know, look, he, he knows that father time oh, comes yeah. after everybody and that he, there's only a certain amount of bullets you've got left. And I think that being on a team like this, no doubt, that's going to rejuvenate him. He feels like there's unfinished, but he doesn't want to go out the way that it looked like it could have happened with him in Boston. That's not how you want to go out and end your career. Yeah, we call that a sucker. You don't want to go out a sucker. I will say, too, he he sort of half almost apologized to the fans in Boston yeah. for not being as good uh, as the money they paid him. And, and I respect that. He said, I would have liked to finish it in Boston, but believe me, I'm happy to be here. He did everything and said everything he was supposed to say. He's not happy with the way the last handful of years have gone. No. Because he's been a guy in the last few years that people go, oh, wait, he's sort of on the pay you no know, mind list. He's on that over there list. He was on the list. Now he's on the, oh, he, he's kind of over there for now list. We'll find out how quickly he can get back on the big boy list. Yes, we will. We'll find that out starting tomorrow. He'll start the uh, finale against Ranger Suarez. A couple of lefties going at it, Braves and Phillies. We're about five minutes away from first pitch. Aaron Nola has completed his tosses in the Phillies' pen, and we're looking at Max Fried as well. He is getting warmed up, so uh, baseball will be here in the not-too-distant future. It does look like a little chilly afternoon in Philadelphia, but fortunately it has dried out. In the meantime, we will welcome in John to the Braves' radio network john how are you today no, i'm doing great good afternoon to you and i had a suggestion for the organization something that we mentioned earlier okay sure. what they need to do is have a regular policy if anybody sees marcelo zuna with a glove they need to take it away from him Interesting. he doesn't need to have one in his locker and anybody needs to be fined that his loans in the glove i'm not averse to this <laughs> i don't know if we want to declare it you know law but I certainly know in theory, uh, I, I will just tell you, he does have, if it's not his, he's got some first baseman glove. Yeah. Because Adam Duvall's here now. He's going to play first base. Marcelo Zuna isn't. So yeah. that should be an alleviation of why is he standing over there. But I think they, he needs busy work during the day before a game. Marcel needs That's a little okay. bit of busy work. Yeah. So you just move him over there and just say, okay, look, <laughs> go stand over there, put a glove on, and we'll, we'll make you feel almost welcome. Yeah. Because I love Ozuna. I do. 
but he he's the worst judge of a fly ball of anybody I've ever seen in, in the MLB. It's a gold glove winner. Show a little respect. <laughs> That's a true story, by the way. He did win a gold glove. Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's been a while. All right, listen, Chris, I got good news for you. Go ahead. It's time to send you back to Philadelphia. All right, well, let's do that. We've got baseball coming your way in just a matter of moments. We have Ben Ingram, Joe Simpson. I'm sure they've hit up the ice cream machine, and they are ready to go. we got the Braves and Phillies starting next right here on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. The rain delay is over, and baseball is back. We now return to the game on the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Kevin McAlvin and Chris Domino, and you're right, Mac. Frankie Two Scoops was hard at it today behind the counter. A lot of good choices today at the ice cream stand. Did you get any today, Ben? No, Bowman was in my way. Oh, God. <laughs> Mark Bowman. Oh, boy. Talk about bogarting you. <laughs> uh, you got no shot. <laughs> but as uh, Kevin McAlpin said, the, uh, the pitchers have put, completed their warm-ups. Nola's already in the dugout, and Max Fried just made it to the Braves' dugout. The exchange of lineups has been made that we gave you earlier. The umpires for today's game behind the plate will be Bruce Dreckman. Jeremy Rehack will be at first base. Clint Bondrack is at second, and the crew chief, crew chief Mark Wegner is at third. It is cool, but it feels a lot colder than what the uh, weatherman says, which is 61 degrees, so it's suddenly gotten very damp. And while we had sunny skies this morning and into the early afternoon, it is now very overcast. Uh, the wind has laid down a little bit, nothing like yesterday, and even a little lighter than it was here earlier in the afternoon, so quite a contrast from yesterday's gale force winds that we saw here. It's amazing that only one home run was hit, wasn't it? Yeah, that's crazy, and especially the left field. Uh, I'd guess if anyone was going to be leaving, it would have been the right, but that wasn't the case at all. Yeah, Brandon Marsh made a good point about his home run yesterday. He said sometimes, and he's the left fielder, sometimes the wind gets blocked by that massive scoreboard in left field, and that may have helped his home run hit to the opposite field yesterday. Aaron Nola will be on the mound for the Phillies. He's 30 years old, 6'2", 200-pounder out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and LSU. He was a first-round draft pick by the Phillies back in 2014. He's in his ninth year in the big leagues and a career record of 90-71. and 71. However, the last three years, his record, 32-31. and 31. He's been a workhorse. He pitches a lot of innings, and last year threw 193 and two-thirds innings, struck out 202, but he also gave up 32 home runs, 16 to lefties, 16 to righties, so he got knocked around a little bit too, and he went 12-9 and nine with an ERA right at 4.5. He has pitched well against the Braves, as we all know. Last year he made three starts against Atlanta, but got no decisions and had a three-and-a-half ERA, lifetime, 33 starts, 15-10 and 10 with a 340 ERA, and he pitched brilliantly against Atlanta in the postseason in the division series here last year. He leads his team out onto the field. Nola, 90-93 to 93 fastball, throws a lot of cutters, and it's a good one. Curveball and a changeup, and it's a good changeup. High leg kick, and he util utilizes that to throw off the timing. And he pitched brilliantly against Atlanta ERA. Lifetime, 33 starts, 15 and 10 with a... Three forty ERA. And he pitched brilliantly against Atlanta in the postseason in the division series here last year. He leads his team out onto the field.
And now for the ball game. The first pitch misses high, and we're underway, starting up at 4.32 Eastern Time. With just a bit of a delay. 27-minute delay. Big crowd here in Philadelphia. Second game of this series. 1-0 pitch on the way to Ronald. He swings at a chopper out to third. Taken to the second. Bounce through the hand of Alec Bohm. And trickling off behind him. And Ronald is safe at first base. Bohm tried to bare hand that second hop. And that was right through his fingers and onto the grass behind him. We saw him bobble a couple of swinging bunts yesterday. And this is what speed does to you too, Ben. He knew he didn't have a whole lot of time on that second bounce to catch it and throw it and get Ronald. And in his haste, missed it altogether. So Ronald out at first base, just like yesterday. In fact, he stole second base in the first inning yesterday. They will go E5 on Bohm. And here's Ozzy Albies. Takes the ball high and outside. In game one of the series, Phillies committed one error. Braves played cleanly defensively. And the Phillies have an error. One batter into the ball game here today. Ozzy awaits Nola. Offering on the way. Swung on and lifted in the air down the left field line. Slicing towards foul ground. Sliding attempt by Whit Merrifield, but he can't get there. And he slides into the tarp, and it's just a foul ball for Ozzy at a 1-1 count. Braves in the traveling grays today. Gray tops, gray pants, red lettering, red numerals. Outlined in navy. Atlanta across the chest on top of the tomahawk. And the Phillies in their alternate cream tops, cream bottoms, red lettering, red numerals outlined in royal blue. And Phillies across the chest in cursive. Just underway on a very overcast day here in Philadelphia, but not near the wind that we had yesterday. 1-1, Ozzy smokes one to deep right field, pursuing his Castellanos, and it is gone! It's a two-run home run as Ozzy ignited that thing over the right field wall. First home run of the year. You said in game two in Washington last year they hit four after not homering in the opener. Well, that's a good start for today. And that was a no-doubter off the bat of Albies. Got the barrel right on it. First homer ever off of Nola for him. Braves leading 2-0. Before the seats are even warm here in Philly. Here's Austin Riley. Still no one out. And Riley takes a call strike. So an error and a two-run homer. Austin yesterday 0 for 4. And he swings and lifts one to right field. Sprinting that way, Nick Castellanos trying to get there. And that bounces foul just on the other side of the line. And one hops over the railing into the seats. 0-2 on Austin Riley. Sixtieth career at bat against Aaron Nola. Riley has monster numbers against Aaron. The 0-2 pitch. And that one just missed now it away. He's got five career homers off of Aaron Nola. And a 4-12 batting average. Five doubles, five homers. And nobody has hit more home runs off of Aaron Nola. The 1-2. Swing and a pop-up. First base side. Foul ground again. Harper going over near the camera. Well, reaches out, goes over, and tumbles into the camera well. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if he's all right. And Harper down on the pavement in the camera. Well, I mean. Camera well, the railing might come up too high on your thumb. Railing is about thigh high, maybe uh, yeah. just over that at best. And I mean, Harper, who's had the back issue in spring training, he looked like he went down right on his back. The one two is fouled back. Nobody needs to chase that one. Well out of play. My goodness. 
We saw Harper in his very first game at first base last year go into the camera well, and uh, but got some help from the netting and uh, kind of dove in after a ball. But one, two, and that one is a called third strike. Curveball on the outside edge, says Bruce Dreckman, and Riley caught looking. And I think Harper's got a bloody hand. He's got a cut on his knuckle, his uh, knuckle of his left hand, so they're coming out. Joe Rausch of the training staff is going out and uh, going to clean up that cut and put a bandage on there if they can. Maybe they'll wait for the half inning. Man. What well, what an effort though. I mean ooh, but that rail that, that I don't I guess, I know it's for the cameras, but they gotta figure out a better way. Because that's no protection for anybody there. Three foot high fence. Here's Matt Olson and he takes a called strike. Olson, big day yesterday. As he had three hits, three doubles on his 30th birthday. The pitch swung on, fouled off. Three curveball. doubles, and I don't know, maybe one of them was hit pretty good. Yeah, the one he hit in the first was an out. It was hit really well. But weren't exactly his uh, best hit balls of the day. The out in the first was. Right. Harper's still got some blood coming off that uh, first finger. The 0-2 to Olsen. And a swing and a tap out in front of the plate. It's a fair ball. JT's got it. He'll toss to first. Right. And Olsen retired. Let's get to the Honda keys to the game. I think the offense needs to step up. No question about it. After first game, they hit 156, 15 strikeouts. And also the pin obviously has to forget about yesterday. Those keys brought to you by your local Honda Valley dealers. Contact your local Honda dealer today. Delaware Valley Honda dealers. Well, I'm just reading what it says. Okay. <laughs> Stay classy, San Diego. There's a swing and a miss. <laughs> Marcelo Zuna is the batter. Yeah. Nolo with the 0 1. Swing and a miss. And Ozuna waving and missing. Again at the curveball, back to back curveballs from Nolo, who gets ahead of the count. And Ozuna now asks for a timeout. Braves with a 2 0 lead here in the first on an Ozzy Albies two run home run after the error by Alec Bohm. The 0 2 pitch. And that's a called third strike. Fastball right on the outside corner. Two Ks for Nola here in the first, but the Braves strike first against the Phil's right-hander. Ozzy Albies with a two-run home run, his first of the year. One error, nobody left, and we'll go to the bottom of the first. Phillies trail 2-0. It's Chevy truck season, and there's no better time to do what you
WIP. Kyle Schwarber will lead off for the Phillies. As Max Fried delivers his first pitch of the season, misses a little bit outside for ball one. Looked like uh, Harper was uh, getting, uh, got into a, a lengthy conversation with Rob Thompson in the dugout. Maybe Rob saying, hey, don't do that, will you? Try not going over the rail, huh? Yeah, I think Harper's strike. probably saying, hey, can you make that rail a little higher for me? <laughs> Clip me right at the kneecap. One ball, one strike as Fried deals to Schwarber, who bounces it foul. I want to go back to that again because I don't want uh, the camera operators to get the wrong idea. He didn't do anything wrong. He no, was no. just standing there at his camera, and uh, I think two, at least two members of the training staff are trying to get by, and there's just not enough room yeah. between the camera and the back wall, and I think uh, Joe might have even almost ran into the cords uh, on his headset, on the cameraman's headset. The one-two. And that one down low. but uh, Yeah, it's not their job at yeah. all. I mean, no, no. And, I, I mean, he was obviously, he was showing concern. It's just that Joe was trying to get by, and he didn't <laughs> yeah. see him behind him. And Harper is on the top step, so he's uh, ready to hit here in the inning. The 2-2. Two -two. Schwarber swings and dribbles it foul. Well, the Phillies looking for a little more offensively today and a little more contact today. A bunch yeah. of strikeouts yesterday in game one. Uh, it's only one game, but for that game, they hit 156. The top four, 0 for 14, so that's got to change. Schwarber, 0 for 4 with a strikeout yesterday. He swings at the pitch and lines it to left center. There's a base hit. And Kyle Schwarber with his first hit of the season. Pesky singles hitter that he is. He's aboard. Now let's see if he takes off for second. Probably won't. He's got the the turtleneck, uh, the, the mock turtleneck on under his uh, uniform top. And, uh, I don't know if it's that cold today, is it? Is it? Is, yeah. I don't Murph know. Says yes. Is that just a dicky or is it the whole shirt and <laughs> turtleneck? I don't know. I don't know. Here's Trey Turner, big swing and a miss at a curveball from Max Fried. I, I don't know if, no. if it's. I assume it's the full turtleneck. Full is, okay. Yeah. It's undershirt. We had those growing up. No one won. <laughs> Here's the pitch, and a swing and a miss. Another curveball. It was just the, literally. It wasn't a whole shirt. It was just a. Piece yeah, like wearing the ascot, or what, right? You just wear it under your. It's not a tie. Yeah, it's a no. turtleneck. Where we call them, the, it was it called the dicky. Yeah. No, I got it. Yeah, cousin, cousin Eddie, and, and uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch. And the O2 fouled away. I mean, you know. You talking about clothing. I think we reached our apex yesterday, so let's just... Yeah, leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the same coat today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Two-nothing Braves lead it. Here's the 0-2. Very hot at Turner. Well, Max Fried last year, 8-1 and in 14 starts. He had a 2-5-5 ERA, but plagued by injuries last season. Had a forearm strain, also a hamstring issue. Limiting his number of starts. Missed 73 team games on the I.L. The 1-2. Ground ball. Deep third. Just foul out of the reach of Riley. And Riley uh, protecting that line a little bit. And, yeah. Uh, if it's fair, he's at least going to get some leather on it. But uh, out of his reach, it was a foul ball. So the count still one and two on Turner. At 266 last year with 26 home runs. Freed at the belt. And the left-hander looks to first. The pitch fouled away. First base side. Like Nola, Freed is now 30 years of age. And like Nola, he was a first-round pick. And just like Aaron Nola, he was the seventh player taken in the draft. 
in his draft year. For free, it was 2012 out of high school. For Nola, 2014 out of college. The one-two. And that's a call third. Fastball, 97. Right there. Yeah, middle in. And here comes Bryce Harper. 97. Well, Harper, again, just uh, flipped over the railing. And, uh, see how he fares here, how the swing looks. The pitch is uh, up high. Want to know the count. Harper, 0 for 3, entering his sixth season with the Phillies. With that 0 for 3 yesterday to draw a walk, struck out once. Want to know the pitch. And that one just missed outside. Two balls and no strikes. Olsen on the bag at first base, holding the runner, Schwarber. Albies straight away at second. The shortstop, Arcia, shaded up the middle. And Riley plays straightaway shortstop right now. On the left side against Harper. The 2-0 from Freed. And that one missed up and away. In the outfield, it's Kelnick in left, Harris in center. And Acuna in right. Kelnick plays very deep in left field. Man, he is just, what, 10 feet short of the warning track? Three balls, no strikes. And the pitch. And that one's a strike called over the outside corner. He's caught the corner on Harper. And it's three and one. Left-hander ready, a peak to first. And here's the pitch. That's outside, ball four. Well, the Phillies with a couple of runners on here in the first against Freed, and uh, the right guy at the right time with two runners on. JT with some great career numbers against Max Freed. JT. 342 lifetime against Freed. 13 for 38 with three home runs. Six extra base hits in those 13. First pitch curveball misses down low. One ball, no strikes. Two runs in the top half of the inning for the Braves. Billy's trying to answer back. They've got two on and one out. Double play depth on the infield. The pitch is very high. And Freed is going to get paid a visit from the catcher, Travis Darno. Well, Freed, over the last five years, more wins than any other left-handed pitcher in baseball. In fact, over the last five seasons, only one starter has won more games in baseball than Max Freed, and that's Garrett Cole. He has 71, Freed with 60. Again, that's with the limited time on the mound last year. Two years ago, he was second in the Cy Young voting, losing out to Sandy Alcantara of the Marlins. Well, 2-0 oh count for JT Realmuto. They're in the home half of the first. They play him the other way in the outfield, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oof. We got a fastball. That one at 93, a little different than the 97 we saw when uh, Turner was up there. That might have been the sinker. He's going for the downs on that one, though, was Muto. Two balls, one strike. Freed ready at the belt. Here's the pitch. Runners go. The pitch is taken for a strike. Throw to third. He is safe at third base. Kyle Schwarber steals the bag. You can't let a guy like that steal third, less than two outs. You just simply cannot, and that's on Freed. And a great slide by Schwarber, too, I believe, to get around that tag. It's like Kenny Lofton out there. Really? Slap a single to left, take a bag? Are you kidding me? Two and two on JT. Freed kicks and comes home with the pitch. Fouled away, first base side. 98 on that fastball. I mean, it 
almost center cut just above the knees, but 98. Well, last year, his four-seamer averaged 94. Where is that coming from? This. Two and two, the count. Freed ready. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Well, the count full. Alec Bohm waits on deck. Olsen a little step, couple steps behind the second base bag, but well off the bag. 20, 25 feet off the bag. Here's the three, two. And it's low ball four. In off the plate a bit as well. And JT draws a walk. Following the walk by Harper. So they're loaded for Alec Bohm. Bohm who was third on the club and runs batted in last year with 97 of them. Trying to make sure he gets one at least home here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. First pitch sinker. That's you, that's just being anxious. You, you have to go up there with an idea of looking for something that you want to hit. Down and away is not something I think Bohm wants to hit. But he went after it. It wasn't even a strike. Oh, and won the count. Again, Kelnick extremely deep in left field. The pitch. And that's way inside. And Freed really struggling with his fastball command right here. One ball and one strike. Left-hander stretches. Here's the pitch. And that's down and in. Two and one. Boom two for four yesterday. Scored a run. We've got Harris over to right center. Acuna stepped towards the line in right field. Two and one on Alec Boehm. Sets his hands and waits the pitch. Swing a little dribbler up the third baseline. They say foul ball. It caught Bohm on the foot, I think. And Freed, did he fall down or did he skid to a stop? I think he I, slipped. He I slipped, don't... and uh, they're going to go check on Max Freed. Darno said right away, talked for the trainer to come out. And Bohm, uh, who... For his part, he busted it out of the box just in case. Well, the ball definitely fell off his foot. And, uh, yeah, Freed just fell. He slipped. He didn't get his footing with his uh, right leg and his uh, left foot, then caught. And uh, got turned kind of funny. And uh, Brian Snitker is out there. Freed will try a warm-up toss or two and say whether or not he's okay. He said, I just watched Harper go over the rail and land on his back. I can't come out of this game for this. <laughs> right. I got to stay in there. Oof. Ooh, boy, that could have been danger yeah. dangerous there. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, all of a sudden the Braves are getting Jesse Chavez up. This will be the 30th, 30th pitch, pitch of the inning yep. for Freed. Yeah. The count two and two. There's one out. Bases are loaded. Phillies down two nothing. Freed ready in the pitch. Swung on, hit deep, down the line and left towards the corner. Kelnick on the run. He won't get it. It is foul. Hits up against the side wall. Did not have a home run distance. Kelnick disappearing from our view. Wasn't sure exactly what happened to that baseball, <laughs> but uh, generally hits off that side wall where the stands rise up towards the corner. Count still two and two on Alec. Freed ready. And the pitch. Swung on, popped up, back of first. Olsen going back for it, reaches out, makes the catch. The long arm of Matt Olsen snares that pop up. Couple of runs, but as it was, reaches out, makes the play, and nobody can do anything. 
So now to be up to Castellanos, also good numbers against Freed, four for eight with a homer in his career. The pitch, he takes up and in, ball one. Well, Castellanos, the sixth hitter here in the first inning. It's 32 pitches for Max Freed in the first. Want to know the count, the stretch, and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Ball skittered away from Darno, but not very far. Bounced in front of the plate. No. Well, maybe not. Didn't bounce in front of the plate. Bounced about even with the plate inside his feet. One ball, one strike. Braves got two in the top half of the inning. Phillies with the bases loaded. The 1 1 swing and a miss. Slow curveball in the zone this time, and Castellanos can't connect. And the count now in Freed's favor at one ball, two strikes. The lefty is set. Looks home. He kicks the pitch in the dirt. Curveball. Castellanos checking the swing. Can't imagine. I mean, it's me. I can't imagine him throwing anything but two more curveballs. You think? Two balls, two strikes on Castellanos. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled away. Tried to sneak a fastball by him at 97, but just above the belt in the middle of the plate. Count remains two and two. Pitch count climbing for Max Freed. Jesse Chavez waiting in the pen if needed. Freed ready, the 2-2 pitch. Fastball is high. Oh, that was right down the middle. I guess Dreckman called it high. He had to because it that was well below the top line of the box. I mean, wow. That's horrendous. Oof. See if Castellanos Man. could make it matter. Three and two the count. Crowd standing now. And Freed steps off. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded in the first. The left-handers pitch. Breaking ball down low, ball four. And Castellanos draws the walk, forcing it a run. And the Phillies are on the board. It's two to one. Well, he did make it matter, that missed call on the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, that is, I mean, that just shouldn't be missed. I mean, Castellanos, even with a little bit of a step there, they just showed it again, that pitch, as uh, I think he thought he was struck out. I think he did, too. Well, Rick Kranitz is going to go out and chat with Freed. Again, only one hit given up in the inning, but now three walks issued by Freed. And while they chat, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification here on the Phillies radio network. 94 WIP HD1 Philadelphia. Powered by the Tasty Cake Studios. The home of the Phillies. 94 WIP. An Odyssey station. With Larry Anderson, I'm Scott Franski with you here at Citizens Bank Park. Atlanta 2, the Phillies 1. It's the bottom of the first inning, a rather marathon bottom of the first. And 38 pitches so far for Max Fried. I was going to say, pitch number 39 on the way. Bryson Stott is the batter. The bases are loaded. Freed is ready. Here's the pitch. And it's taken down on away ball one. And this has to be, you would think, the last batter for Max Freed, right? I would think. I mean, even in the middle of the season, you don't want to see a guy throw 40 pitches in an inning. No. But he's about to do that here in his first inning of the year. The 1-0. And that one's in there for a strike. Stott shaking his head, thought it was low. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. <laughs> one ball, one strike. 
It's not one for four yesterday. The pitch. Breaking ball. And they're all over that curveball. We're not seeing too many swings now. And this is where you just you have to look for exactly what you want, where you want it. Two balls, one strike, the pitch. And that's in the dirt. Blocked by Darno. Fastball. And now a hitter's count very much in favor of Bryson Stott. 22 strikes, 20 balls, or maybe 23 strikes and 19 balls, but the way they were called, it's 22 and 20. One career grand slam for Bryson Stott. It came last year in the playoffs. Three balls and a strike on the Phil's second baseman. Base is loaded, two down. Freed kicks the pitch. Swung on, line towards left. Kelnick coming on. He won't get it. It's a base hit. One run will score. JT coming around third. He will score. It's a two-run single for Bryson Stott. And the Phillies take the lead. It's 3-2 to two here in the bottom of the first. And there you see, you got to, especially with the left-hander up, there's no reason for Kelnick to be playing back on the warning track. He had no chance to throw out JT None. or make a catch on that given how deep he had been playing. And that is it for Max Freed. He throws 43 pitches here in the bottom of the first inning, and he doesn't make it out of the inning. As Freed will depart, the Phillies have a 3-2 lead, and they take full advantage of that missed call on the 2-2 pitch to Castellanos. Pitching change timeout back in a moment on the Phillies radio network. Hi, my name is Alani. A little thing I like about the spicy deluxe sandwich is that you taste the crunch, you taste the pepper jack cheese melting, and you taste the spicy flavors in the sandwich. Until Drawings, thrills away. They're out there calling. If it's excitement you seek and you're looking for action, play the PA Lottery and keep on scratching. Must be 18 or older. Please play responsibly. Benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. 40-year-old right-hander Jesse Chavez is still at it, and he's doing it for the Atlanta Braves once again. And he's out of the bullpen here in the bottom of the first inning. This is about his fifth tour of duty with Atlanta. Just signed in spring training. The first pitch to Whit Merrifield is a called strike. And uh, Merrifield here in his first at bat, batting with runners at first and second. And two down in the bottom of the first. Phillies three, the Braves two. And Chavez with a pitch, swung on, fouled away. Well, 43 pitches for Max Fried. Looked like he thought he was out of it unscathed. The 0-2. Merrifield spoils one, hitting it in the air, foul out of play. Merrifield had a very good spring for the Phillies. He was the one notable free agent signing the Phillies had. And uh, he figures to play a fair amount. Hit just over 400 in spring training, a couple of home runs. Can't say that Jesse Chavez had a very good spring. 11.57 ERA with the White Sox. 0-2, oh, and that's a breaking ball down and away. Chavez uh, last year had a 156 earned run average in 36 appearances. Mm -hmm. Was hurt a good bit of the year. 1-2 pitch. 
Swung on, skied to right center field. Harris and Acuna converge. Acuna calling, and he'll make the catch. But a good start as the Phillies battle back here in the bottom of the first inning. They score three times in the inning, couple of hits, and two were left. We'll go to the second. Phillies lead it three to two. At Independence Blue Cross, we take care of the people who take care of you. Everyday heroes like firefighters, teachers, farmers, and healthcare workers. Philadelphia and the NBC Sports app. Phillies Baseball Sports Radio 94 WIP. Kids will be sure to smile on Cavity Buster's Kids Opening Day taking place Sunday, April 14th at 1.35 when the Pirates visit Citizens Bank Park. Fans 14 and under receive a sleeveless hoodie. Visit phillies.com to purchase tickets today. 3-2 to two, Phillies lead and first pitch to Michael Harris the second is a breaking ball that stays up and away. A long delay for Nola after that first inning. Yeah. Long time to sit. Harris, Arcia, and Darno coming up. As Nola winds, kicks, and fires. And the pitch misses inside. They have changed the scoring on the play to start the ball game. The bouncer to third. They've taken the error away from Malik Baum. And it's now a hit for Acuna. So two runs, two hits, both runs earned to Aaron Nola. The 2-0 pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Again, for three, two-thirds of an inning pitch. Harris three for five yesterday. A couple of infield hits along the way. Here's the two-one. And there's another breaking ball to the back door. We're called strike two. Harris at 293 last year, got off to a miserable start. Looked like the sophomore slump was on, but he had a heck of a close to the season. The pitch is up high. From June 1st on, he was one of the best hitters in the National League for average. The count is full. And Nola's 3-2. Missed outside. Tried that curveball again, and it's a leadoff walk. So Harris is on. And it brings up Orlando Arcia. They love him here. Yeah, yeah they do. He's uh, not enjoyed his matchups against Nola over the years, the pitch. And that's a called strike. He's one for 18 against him. That's ownage. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, and won the count. Double play depth on the infield, the pitch. And check swing. They ask it first. He didn't swing. 
says Jeremy Rahack. By the way, Bryce Harper out there does have the uh, knuckle bandaged up, but you can already see the blood kind of coming through that knuckle bandage. One and one the count. Nola stretches, and he'll turn and throw to first. Harper well off the bag. No tag there as Harris goes back in standing up. Nola, who early in the season really seemed to struggle with the pitch clock. No pitch on the way. This is yanked to left. That's going to be trouble. It'll be down for a hit. It's going to roll to the base of the wall. Merrifield picks it up on the track. And with nobody out, they're going to hold the runner at third base. It's a double for Arcia. He had two of them yesterday. He's got his third of the season today. But the leadoff walk after your team just takes the lead. I, I just, I don't understand. Why not? I don't know. It's almost like trying to be tricky with that curveball, three and two. Throw a fastball. This is a curveball he just left up in his own. Well, the Phillies will play back on the infield here with runners at second and third and nobody out. Travis Darno is the batter. Nola out of the stretch, checks on the runners and delivers. And Arnaud takes the strike, starts him with a fastball. Two twenty-five hitter last year, Darno with 11 home runs. Primary backup, played a little more in the second half when Sean Murphy struggled a bit after the all-star break. Former number one pick of the Phillies way back in 2007. Darno is now 35 years of age. Nola the 0-1. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. For Darno, it's now his fifth year with Atlanta. The stretch and the pitch. It's poked down the right field line. That's trouble as well. It'll be a base hit. And that's going to put the Braves back in front. Both runs are going to score as Castellanos' throw cut off by Stott. And it's a double for Darno. And it's 4-3 to three, Atlanta. And really a good piece of hitting by Darno went down and smacked a curveball the other way. Yeah, the pitch was, I mean, a great right, right on the black at the knees. He just kind of threw his hands at it and we went down and got it. Yeah. yeah, I think at first he thought it was just trying to foul it off. And then he realized it was going to land fair. So uh, settle in, folks. Pitch. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Nobody can get to it. Splits the infielders, rolls into center. Darno is coming home. And Jared Kelnick is a. Uh, well, he's jumping all over. He's fired a, up. Fired up to break that bat. <laughs> nice going. Way to go. Jeez. Well. All of a sudden, the Braves come back with three of their own. It's five to three, and well, a lot's been hit great here, but uh, it was a little bit like yesterday. Uh, the Braves started collecting all these infield hits and broken bat. I mean, yeah, but the leadoff walk, he just... After you take the lead, it's... Well, now Cunha back to the top of the order. As uh, both Freed and Nola struggling. Freed is already out of this game. Nola still without an out here in the second. The stretch and the pitch. It's down and away. It's one ball and no strikes. Cunha reaching on an infield hit in the first. One ball, no strikes. The pitch. 
Missed badly. Down and away again. Aaron with his next strikeout will tie Chris Short on the Phillies all-time strikeouts list. 2-0. And that's way outside. Really pulling at that one was Nola and uh, easy take for Acuna. Three balls, no strikes. The pitch. Swinging a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And around second on his way to third. Kelnick, he'll make it there. Now Acuna trying for second as the play was bobbled in center. And Acuna is out as Rojas bobbled. Acuna taking the gamble at the extra base. And he gets thrown out at second for the first out of the inning. That's just a bonehead play on Acuna's part. So it'll be a base hit for Acuna. And Rojas uh, maybe rushing it a little bit, trying to maybe make a play on Kelnick at third. But See, if Acuna he... runs hard to first base, which he never does, but if he did, he would have been in the second probably easily. Well, here is Ozzie Albies. And Albies takes high for a ball. Want to know the count. Infield is in now for the Phillies. Trailing 5-3. to three. One out, Kelnick at third. Nola kicks, delivers, and a swing and a foul straight back. Albies hit the two run home run in the first inning. Put the Braves on top. One ball, one strike pitch. Down and in. Stopped by Real Muto. It's about what we expected, right? Nola Freed? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Five to three, second inning. One starter gone, the other on the ropes. Seven outs and it's uh, eight runs between the two teams. Wow. Two balls, one strike. And a pitch. Ground ball hit first. Harper down on a knees, got it, checks the runner. Steps on first, nicely done. There's out number two. Three unassisted. And that'll bring up Austin Riley. I mentioned nobody's hit more homers off of Aaron Nola than Austin Riley. Pete Alonzo also has five career homers. Two other guys on this roster, Acuna and Ozuna, each with four lifetime home runs off of Aaron Nola. The pitch. Riley takes. Fastball off the plate away. Next pitch, number 40 for Aaron. Mm. One ball, no strikes. Infield back now with two down. The pitch taken. It's a called strike. Again, I still go back to Nola's fastball command is key, and he's just not been able to command the fastball where he wants it. One ball, one strike. And this pitch fouled away. And the fastball is going to set up the other stuff. It's going to make your curveball better. It's going to make your changeup better. It's going to make your cutter better if you're commanding it. If not, it's a different story. One ball, two strikes on Riley. Nola's ready. Here's the pitch. It's up high. Very high, and Riley takes it. And, uh, starting to kind of stir around out there. Phillies bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. 
And the pitch. Swing it and miss. He struck him out. Riley goes down on a fastball as he swings through it. But the Braves retake the lead. Three runs in the inning on a total of four hits. One man left, and we'll head for the bottom of the second, 5-3 Atlanta. Want more speed? to three Braves lead at bottom of the second inning here at Citizens Bank Park Johan Rojas will lead off against Jesse Chavez in the pitch yeah, it's in for a strike called nothing going on the count Rojas Schwarber and Turner do up here against Chavez working in relief today the pitch and that's a little high Rojas takes it Johan 0 for 2 yesterday with a walk Rob Thompson spoke Highly of his at-bats, uh, the number of pitches he saw yesterday. 1-1 one, one pitch. Check swing, strike called, and it's 1-2. and two. Time called. Larry, if uh, you want an update, the uh, right field scoreboard has your pitch speed. It does. Yeah. Right in the middle at the very bottom. They've got it up there today. Nice. Here's the 1-2. Swing and a miss. And Rojas down on strikes for out number one. A lot of break on that curveball, Larry. 76 miles an hour, Scott. Yeah. That'll bring up Kyle Schwarber. Single his first time up. And the pitch. Schwarber takes. That misses. Chavez, who debuted in the major leagues in 2008. The 1 0. Fouled off. So, you know how long it's been since the Phillies have won the World Series. Chavez has been at it all that time. <laughs> wow. And still going. Here's the 1 1 to Kyle. And he takes. It's down and in. Well, one of the best things the Phils could do today is get after this bullpen of the Braves, make them use some of their guys, you know, wear them down a little bit, and not let somebody like Jesse Chavez go out there and throw four or five innings and save the bullpen. Two balls, one strike. Uh, Schwarber, who waits. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded sharply, but right at the shortstop, Arcia. Up with it, he'll throw to first, and Schwarber retired. Hey, what Schwarber's moving pretty good out there, isn't he? Yeah, looks like it. So two up, two down. Here's Trey Turner. Chavez, he's pitched in the majors 
not only with Atlanta, but Oakland, Texas, the Royals, the Pirates, the Cubs, the Angels, the Blue Jays, and the Dodgers. Turner takes the first pitch. It's down a little bit low. The majority or the, uh, the, mo the, the, the biggest games pitched total is with Atlanta. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Today is his 141st career appearance with Atlanta. He made 101 with Oakland. The 1-1. That's down low. He was uh, with Oakland for four years. He was, he's, he's been with Atlanta for basically four years, but just not in a row. Right. 2-1. <laughs> Turner, broken bat, roller, left side, scooped by Arcia. Throw to first is in time to get Turner. The barrel of the bat ends up beyond third base as he broke that one. Turner grounds out, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Who'd have thought? Through two. find a retailer near you while everyone's listening to the ball game on the Phillies radio network the engineers labor employer cooperative elec is hard at work rebuilding our infrastructure whether it's transportation water or energy projects elec and the operating engineers 825 are ready to get to work building our bounce back the Phillies play here sports radio 94 wip on the mound around the league, Marcus Stroman makes his Yankees debut looking for the sweep versus Hunter Brown and the Astros. And that is sponsored by the New Jersey Division of Travel and Tourism. Find your wow right now. Visit nj.org. Matt Olson leads off here in the top of the third, takes a curveball low. Want to know the count? Braves five, Phillies three. We're in the third inning today. Wind by Nola in the 1-0. Olsen takes. That's a little bit high. 2-0 count. Well, what a show that Reese Hoskins put on today. Oh, mercy. In did, the Big Apple. Did he? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> talking about answering back, here's a towering fly ball to right. This one's got a chance. Castellanos back at the wall, and it is gone into the first row over the out-of-town scoreboard. And Matt Olson, who had 54 homers last year, has his first one this season. And it's 6-3 to three Braves. Well, you could start April the right way when the Reds come to town to take on the Phils at Citizens Bank Park Monday, April 1st at 6.40, Tuesday the 2nd at 6.40, Wednesday, April 3rd at 1.05. Visit phillies.com to purchase tickets today. Here's Marcelo Zuna, second homer for the Braves here off NOLA. And the pitch, Ozuna swings and fouls one down at the plate. Yesterday, perhaps you saw Reese sliding into second through the ire of Jeff McNeil of the Mets. 
And uh, benches emptied, a lot of shouting back and forth between uh, Hoskins and McNeil. The pitch. And well, well, today, they had an early game today in New York, and the Mets fans were booing Reese as he came to the plate in the first inning. He promptly lined a two-run single down the third baseline, quieted the crowd, gave the Brewers a 2-0 lead. The 1-1. One -one. That's outside. His next time up, he hit a two-run home run. So a four-RBI day today for Reese. He had three hits total. And the Brewers beat the Mets 7-6. to six. Two one pitch. Swing and a miss. I'm pretty sure most of the guys around here are rooting for Reese until they play him. Yeah, I would say so. Good to see. Certainly rooting for him anytime he's playing the Mets. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I thought Jeff McNeil was way off base. Oh, just ridiculous. Two balls, two strikes in the pitch. Foul that's I mean, played. You're going to get all upset about that. Go put on a, go, go play some softball somewhere. Slow pitch. You know, nobody can get hurt. I mean, there was no. He didn't try and hurt. He went right, right over the bag. It was low slide. Yeah. Still within reach of the bag. Right straight over the bag, as you're supposed to do. 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, fouled and away. I want to see all the tape that Jeff McNeil has of Reese Hoskins playing so dirty. Yeah. You know. We've got, we got video. They're still mad about his home run trot. But, you know, they, they've. That you remember that whatever it yeah. was, thirty seconds he took to round the bases yeah. that time. Two two ground ball to third. Bohm's got it. Shuffles his feet, throws across. Ozuna retired. But yeah, where's the where's the play after play on video of him being a dirty player? Right. We bring up Michael Harris the second. Harris, who walked to start that three-run second inning. Scored on the double by Darno. The pitch fouled off. Harris turned 23 earlier this month. He signed to a long-term deal. Braves have a lot of their position players locked up long term swing and a miss good curveball there kind of wonder what they'll do with Max Freed whether he'll make it all the way to free agency I really, really think he's uh, got Aaron Nola contract money in his mind I would think next pitch swung on line to right that's a base hit fastball he turns on it and it's going to turn into a double for Harris as he scampers into second standing up and uh the Braves just piling up extra base hits these first two days of the season, not unlike them, given their 845 team OPS last year. Yeah, there's a fastball, belt high, inner half. And again, Nola has a lot of success when he can throw his fastball at the knees. But his ability to do that has diminished over the last year, few years. Here's Orlando Arcia. And the pitch. That one is inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Arcia doubled his first time up. The pitch. Ground ball, left side. Turner stops it in the hole. Hops up, throws wide of first. R.C. is going to reach. Nothing Turner could do there. Just getting to that was something. And another infield hit for Atlanta. I think they had, what, four of them yesterday? Yeah. They've got uh, two already today. And a jam shot by Kelnick. I mean. They all count. They all do. I mean, if you're not striking out, you got a chance to get on base. 
So here's Darno doubled home two runs his first time up. And the first pitch swung on, skied to right. And Castellanos settling under it. He's going to make the catch. Harris will tag. He's headed for third, and the throw will be cut off. Keep runners at the corners. Two down now, and Kelnick coming up. Braves hitting coach Kevin Seitzer spent the spring trying to make some tweaks and changes to Jared Kelnick's stance at the plate. He had hit under 200 his first two years in the big leagues with the Braves, or with the uh, Mariners, pardon me. And then last year, jumped up to 253. Still only 24 years of age. The pitch. And that breaking ball is low. Definitely a uh, buy low <laughs> opportunity for the Braves. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch. That's a strike call on the outside corner. Kelnick, who was the sixth player taken in the draft out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. Todd Zalecki's hometown. Is it? Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Down and away. I'm trying to think if that's Gary Bennett's old town. It might be his new town, too, but his Waukesha was something like that. I know you got a lot of friends in Waukesha. Well, not, not a ton. Maybe one. 2-1, swing and a little liner into the right center field. That's a base hit. In to score is Harris. Around to third base goes Arcia. And Jared Kelnick with his second hit of the game. And it's 7-3 to three Atlanta. And the Phillies bullpen, which is uh, not necessarily fully stocked today after getting deep into the pen yesterday on day one, but they're going to have to think about getting somebody going because uh, Aaron Nola is uh, he's not long for this game. He just cannot get the ball at the knees for a strike. It's, it's thigh high. And they're going first to third like nobody's business. So here's Acuna. They're on the corners. Two down on the pitch. That's down low. Seven to three Atlanta. We're in the third inning. They scored two in the first, three in the second, two more in the third. Uh, full house crowd is totally taken out of it. The pitch is down low. Two and zero. Oh. Acuna two for two today with a single to third, one to center. Nola kicks the pitch. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Turner to his left has it. Flips underhand to Stott. They get the out at second. Close play. But they do get the fielder's choice, and that will finish off the Braves. Atlanta scores two more. They do it with four hits. They leave two. We're going to the bottom of the third. It's 7-3, to three, Braves. You're made for getting to...
like the foul baller. Whether he brings his mitt or goes barehanded, when a foul ball comes his way, he'll be ready. Incoming! I got it! Hey, nice one. Section 109 puts their trust in him, which is why he puts his trust in SeatGeek to get the perfect tickets. SeatGeek, the official fan-to-fan -fan ticket marketplace of the Philadelphia Phillies and the ticketing app trusted by Phillies fans, so Phillies fans can fan. SeatGeek. Join us for April baseball that's sure to rock when the Rockies visit CBP on Monday, April 15th and Tuesday, April 16th, both at 640 and Wednesday, April 17th at 605. Secure your seats at phillies.com. Your exclusive home for Phillies baseball. Sports Radio 94 WIP. 7-3 ball game. Braves lead it. Bryce Harper bats for the second time. We go to the home half of the third inning. As Harper, Romito, and Bohm coming up against Jesse Chavez. The first pitch to Harper is in for a called strike. Nothing going to won the count. Chavez with a wind. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Harper way out in front. 74 mile an hour curveball from Chavez. Worked a 1 2 3 second inning. The pitch. That's outside. Lights really uh, taking hold now. Chavez, the one two swing and a fly ball left center field, slicing away from Harris on the run. Kelnick, he dives, lays out, makes the great running catch. Full out dive in the gap by Kelnick in left center. And he takes a hit away from Harper. There's out number one. Heck of a play right there. I didn't think he was going to get to it. Well, he's all excited about his broken bat single still, isn't he? <laughs> You're going to carry that one a while, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Here's JT Romuto. And yeah, JT is swinging a foul ball back. Seven to four. That's what they got to do. Just keep pecking away. But they also got to stop Atlanta. Now to bring up Alec Bohm. out his first time up and he takes low and away ball one is it Phil's Pitch. that's outside Phil's second extra base hit of the season of the season I'm gonna say here's the 2-0 Swung on, fouled back, yeah. Phillies have uh, two extra base hits. Lynn had Orlando three. Arcia has three. Matt Olson has four. They've got ten to the Phillies, too. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Bohm swings, grounds it to short. Arcia's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time. Bohm retired. On a routine grounder, there's out number two, and it'll bring up Nick Castellanos. Castellanos.
Castellanos walked his first time up, drove home a run, and uh, got the benefit of a really bad call by Bruce Dreckman. The pitch, breaking ball, misses low and away. Should have been struck out on a 2-2 fastball. That yep. the, like it was right at the belt, right over the heart of the plate. Here's the 1-0 pitch, and that's... A strike okay. call. That's a couple of two or three balls off the plate away. Here's the 1-1 one, one. swing and a fly ball left field. Kelnick, though, has room. He's on the edge of the track, now comes in a step, makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. Phillies get one back on the home run by Real Muto. Nobody left. We're through three innings today at Citizens Bank Park. Phillies trails 7 to 4. Looking for ways to save money? South Jersey Gas is your energy efficiency partner, helping you use less energy and reduce your utility bills. Conserve, our free online energy efficiency resource, offers easy, helpful tips anyone can use. South Jersey Gas customers, check out. Phillies, 94 WIP. Baseball is better with friends and family, so bring your team to see ours this season at Citizens Bank Park. Groups of 25 or more receive ticket discounts in select locations for most games will be recognized prior to the game on Fanavision. For more info, visit phillies.com slash group tickets. Ozzie Albies leads off, swing and a miss at the first pitch from Aaron Nolda here in inning number four. It's seven to four, Braves leading it. And now time called as a ball loose in the alleyway left center field. And so Johan Rojas going to pick that up. He'll toss it into the crowd. Or not. Tosses it to the, it ball, to the ball girl. See if Aaron Nolda can uh, settle down, maybe finish on a high note. You wouldn't think he's uh, going to get two more, any more pitches to throw today. 66 coming into this inning. A one pitch, and Albies takes low and away, but uh, seven runs on ten hits. All the runs are earned. Albies, Riley, and Olsen part of the order for Atlanta. The wind in the 1-1 pitch. Swung on, hit in the air, right center field. Rojas coming over, won't get it. Jam shot, falls in. Man, I just... Not saying they haven't hit a ball hard at all, but but a lot of soft contact. I also don't believe in it. It's just bad luck. Yeah. It's uh, too much of the plate, thigh high curveball. Yeah. Ozzy actually jammed himself a little bit on that. Here's Riley, and he swings. It's a bouncer to third. Boehm fields on a hop, fires second. That's all they'll get. One out there. Bryson Stott did not seem to mind the slide of Ozzy Albies. A la Jeff McNeil. No, no. He's like, well, that's what they do. They slide into the bag. And... I don't know. 
I, I don't know what game McNeil's playing. <laughs> but obviously, big league baseball is a little too tough for him. Better find a little softer sport. Here's Matt Olson and the pitch. Olson takes. That's a little bit wide for a ball. Larry, there's two players in the National League that have finished in the top ten of the National League MVP voting three straight years. Swing and a foul straight back. How many? You, there's there's only two. two that have finished in the top ten three years running. And they're both on this club. Didn't I didn't say that. Oh. I was going to give you a chance to maybe guess who you think they are. Oh, Acuna? Incorrect. In the top ten? In the top ten the last three years in a row. Hmm. Greg Murphy's got one of them. The 1-1 one, one pitch it is down a little bit low. Greg Murphy guessed Austin Riley. He's been yeah. in the top 10 of the MVP voting three straight years. How about Olsen? Not Olsen. No. But he's only been in the league two straight. 2-1 pitch. Bouncer to first. Harper's got it. Spins. Fires to second. There's one. Throw back to Nolda covering. It's in time. How about the man Olsen replaced? Oh, Freddie. Freddie Freeman. Uh -huh. He's the other. Well, Nola puts up a zero on the board here in the fourth, thanks to a three. Schedule an appointment at the Temple Lung Center. Call 800-TEMPLE-MED. You're invited. Celebrate Citizens Fanatic Birthday on Sunday, April 21st at 1.35 when the Phils take on the White Sox. And kids 14 and under receive Fanatic Mittens. Snag tickets now at phillies.com. Phillies Baseball, Sports Radio 94, WIP. 7-4, Atlanta leads it, bottom of the fourth inning, and Bryson Stott will lead off against Jesse Chavez. First pitch on the way, and Stott takes a look at a strike right down the middle. 0-1 the count. It'll be Stott, Merrifield, and Rojas. Two up here against Chavez, the pitch. And it's bounced in there with the one lineup change the Phillies made today to have Whit Merrifield in there against the lefty Max Freed. Merrifield never even got to face Max Freed. He was gone after seven batters and 43 pitches. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Swung on, line towards right center. That'll be in for a hit. And a leadoff single for Stott. Two for two. Today. Two runs single in the first. Chase Freed from the ball game. will bring up with Merrifield. Another lefty on the mound tomorrow for the Braves. That's Chris Sale. So Oof. good chance that uh, 
Merrifield will get a chance to play again tomorrow as the pitch is up high for a ball. But uh, Rob Thompson stopped short of saying it would be a straight platoon situation for Marsh in left field, Marsh in Merrifield. Want to know the count? The pitch. Put them together, you have Marshy Field. <laughs> Witt may play some uh, at second base as well against a tough right. lefty. Again, they like Stott and Marsh both, uh, in particular Stott, but uh, they feel like as a throw to first will chase Stott back. They feel like Brandon has made great strides in the last year against lefty, left-handed pitching, the pitch. And there's a strike off the outside corner. Talk about a guy that just, he doesn't overpower anybody, but makes his pitches with some movement on it. 2-1, that's way outside. And the count, three balls and a strike. So now uh, somebody else going to take a warm-up jacket off out in the Braves' bullpen. 3-1 and one to Merrifield. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Boy, he swings through that cutter. I mean, that is right down the middle. But, uh, movement on it. Tyler Matzik is uh, yep. back in their bullpen, and he is uh, getting loose. As the count full to Whit Merrifield. Where's the number nine? Here in his first year with the Phillies. Three and two, runner goes, the pitch, ground ball towards the bag at second. Albies knocks it down, it comes out of his glove, now picks it up, throws to first just in time. As Merrifield almost beat that out. And Stott safely in its second before Rojas bats. Let's pause for station identification here on the Phillies radio network. 94 WIP HD1 Philadelphia. Powered by the Tasty Cake Studios. The home of the Phillies. 94 WIP. An Odyssey station. With Larry Anderson, I'm Scott Fransky with you at Citizens Bank Park. 7-4, to four, Braves lead it. With one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Johan Rojas, the batter against Jesse Chavez. And the pitch. Rojas takes. That's in tight for ball one. And they stay out of a potential double play by putting Stott in motion. 1-0. And a swing and a miss. Again, that cutter. Enough movement on it. Right down the middle, he swings through it. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Another cutter, and he might just uh, unleash another one here if he can. Might as well. The one-two. Swing and a ground ball the other way. Picked up by Albies. Moving to his left, he'll throw out Rojas. And down to third goes Stott, but two outs now, and here comes Kyle Schwarber. Well, attention teachers, now's your chance to submit a nomination for the All-Star Students Contest presented by L.F. Driscoll. The Phillies want to hear about a student in your class who deserves to be recognized for going above and beyond, showing kindness and giving back to the community. Nominate your All-Star Student now at phillies.com slash education. Well, with the lefty Kyle Schwarber due up, they're going to bring the lefty Tyler Matzik into this ball game. Travis Darno went to the hill to buy a little bit more time, but uh, Ryan Snitker is out there now, takes the baseball from the veteran right-hander. Jesse Chavez gives the break.
It will be double the fun at CBP on Hatfield Phillies Frank's BOGO Nights when fans can purchase two hot dogs for the price of one. Don't miss out on April 2nd and April 16th, both at 640. Get tickets now at phillies.com. 33-year-old lefty Tyler Matzik back in the majors after a year away. It's a Tommy John surgery. Last pitched in 2022, four and two record, 42 appearances. Coming on here to face Kyle Schwarber, the runner at third and two down. As Matzik inherits Bryson Stott, the runner over to third base, seven to four, Braves lead it, the pitch. Schwarber takes, that's down and away, ball one. First appearance for Matzik since 2022, October. Missed all of last year. 1-0 oh, the pitch. Schwarber swings and pops one up a mile high. Right field, Acuna coming in, nearing the line. He's under it. He makes the catch. And there is out number three. So Matzik gets his man. And the Phillies strand a runner at third. We're headed to the fifth inning today here at Citizens Bank Park. Ray. On Mother's Appreciation Day, presented by Pep Boys, Sunday, May 5th at 7:10, when the Phillies take on the Giants. A woman 15 and over receive a ladies' bucket hat. Visit phillies.com to purchase tickets. Marcelo Zuna, first up for the Braves here in the fifth. Seven runs, 11 hits, no errors for Atlanta. Four runs, four hits for the Phillies thus far here, going to the fifth. Ozuna 0 for 2 today, and Nola delivers in the first pitch. Is taken for a strike. Phillies get some activity going out of the bullpen. Looks maybe like uh, Luis Ortiz starting to warm up. Oh, and one the count. And the pitch. That's in there for a strike. Nola, three Ks early in the game, but uh, hasn't had one since he got Riley to end the second. His next will put him past Chris Short. The 0-2 on the way, and it's fouled back and out of play. Nola is seventh all-time in games started for the Phillies. Ninth all-time in winning percentage, and uh, as we said, fifth all-time, or now tied for fourth all-time in strikeouts. The 0-2. Bouncer towards second. Two hops, waist-high pickup for Stott. Overhand toss to first. Ozuna retired. 
Well, the MLB Ballpark app will complete your next visit to your favorite ballpark, buy and manage game tickets, redeem offers, access exclusive content, and much more. Download the MLB Ballpark app today. Brings up Michael Harris, the second. He's been aboard twice. He's scored twice. The pitch. Down low. Braves had to make some changes on their coaching staff for this season. It's been one of the most stable yeah. in baseball the last few years. But Ron Washington now managing the Angels. Longtime third base coach. 1-0. Down and in. And he brought Eric Young with him. As uh, Eric Young went west to Los Angeles. So Matt Tuiasasopo is their new third base coach. And Tom Goodwin. Is the first base coach. 2 0. Swing and a miss. Tuiasa Sopo. Somebody in his family was a quarterback at the University of Washington with that name. It might have been him. I don't know. I don't think it was him. He had, uh, there were a couple of Tuiasa Sopo yeah. brothers, I think, right? Yep. 2 1. Fouled away. Out of play. Where was that? At Washington? Yeah, University of Washington. My Huskies. That's exactly right. <laughs> as long as they're doing well. Off the cuff, could you spell it? Sure. The pitch. And this one slapped into left. That's a base hit. Merrifield over to play it. And Michael Harris, the second, who uh, was three for 17 lifetime off of Aaron Nola. Is a two for two today with a walk. Looks like that'll do it. Here comes Rob Thompson. All right, hit me with it. Tuiasa Sopo. Yeah, that's what I just said. Tuiasa Sopo. Can you spell it? O P O. I'm going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, T U I A S O P. Marquez. Marquez. Marquez Tuiasa Sopo. Sure. Quarterback. M A R Q U E Z. M A R Q U E S. That's what I meant. I don't People earn competitive compensation and great benefits, including medical, dental, prescription, and a pension. Visit jobs.septa.org to apply today. That's jobs.septa.org. Luis Ortiz on the mound and facing Arcia hits a ground ball under the glove of a diving Harper. It's into right field for a base hit. And uh, jammed there, but he shoots it by Harper. I don't think Harper saw that off the bat right away because he just... It was off the bat at 66 miles per hour. He didn't really move till the till the ball was right on him, and he looks upset with himself that he didn't come up with it. And uh, Arcia is three for three. And uh, he has started the season quickly with back-to-back three-hit games. And here is Travis Darno. And 
the pitch. Garneau is swing and a miss. Well, Ortiz making the club is one of the last uh, moves in spring training. After a good spring for Ortiz, through a lot of strikes. Phillies are down seven to four. Braves threatening for more. The pitch, swing and a miss. Ten innings, three earned runs, ten strikeouts during the spring for Ortiz. Former number one pick was Luis Ortiz. No two. Ground ball hit towards second. Stotts got it, steps on second, throws to first. Sides retired. Something happened to Ortiz. He's slow to come off. I think he's hurt. He's limping. No runs, couple of hits, one left. We go to the bottom of the fifth, seven to four Braves. Youngsters are sure to smile on Sunday, April 14th when the Phils host the Pirates at 135 for Cavity Buster's Kids Opening Day. And kids 14 and under receive a sleeveless hoodie. Order tickets now at phillies.com. The Phillies play here. Sports Radio 94 WIP. Trey Turner will start it for the Phillies who are down 7-4. to four. We go to the bottom of the 5th. And the first pitch from Tyler Matzik is in for a strike. And uh, again, uh, Ortiz uh, looked like he jumped for the bouncer and uh, might have twisted his ankle a little bit, his left ankle when he came down, uh, attempting to field that ground ball. Turner smashes one past the dive of Riley. It's in the left. And there's the first hit of the year for Trey Turner. He's aboard to start this fifth inning. Well, let's get the Citizens stats later. Yesterday, Brandon Marsh clubbed his first opening day home run going back to August 1st of last year. He's now homered in consecutive games. Citizens, the official bank of the Phillies. Well, we just got a shot of Ortiz going down the dugout steps down the tunnel to the clubhouse, but uh, nobody is warming in the Phillies bullpen as yet. So, Here's Harper with nobody out and a man at first. Matzik. Kicks and deals in the pitch. Harper swings, pops it foul out of play. Looks like he had a pitch he liked there. Yeah. And that was one of the best swings I think Harper's taken in the first couple days. Harper, who went head over the rail of the camera well and landed on his back in the well earlier today. 0 1. Swung on, ripped, caught by Olsen, and Turner's got nowhere to go. Off the bag and caught in between both Olsen and uh, easy tag for a double play. How about that? Man. So that'll bring up JT Romuto. Drive double play. And 
And JT hits one on the ground foul past third. JT with a home run his last time up. the count the pitch swing and a ground ball sharply hit out of the reach of RC it's a base hit well, some uh, fairly hard contact here for the Phillies against Matzik but two outs in a man at first here comes Alec Bohm Bohm is 0 for 2 pop out and a ground out and they play Kelnick. He must really prefer to play deep, huh? Yeah. He must not go back on the ball well. We didn't have to go very far. The pitch. And that's a called strike. There is no going back on a ball. I mean, no. it's really about covering the gap side to side on balls, you know, either down the line or right? Yeah. Yeah. To play that deep, that's the only reason for it. Oh, and won the count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a fly ball, right field. Acuna going back towards the track makes the catch. And that'll do it for the Phillies. No runs, couple of hits, and a man left. We're through five innings today. It's the Braves seven and the Phillies four. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Sports Radio 94 WIP. Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. March 30th, 2019. Bryce Harper crushed a solo home run deep into the second deck in right center field in the seventh inning on a Saturday evening at Citizens Bank Park, giving the Phillies a three-run lead and an eight-to-six victory over the Braves. Okay. Okay. Sir. Chick-fil-A nugget of the game. Makes me hungry. Whew. Jared Kelnick will lead off for the Braves. Luis Ortiz is back out to the hill. And the first pitch on the way. Kelnick takes a strike. It's 7 to 4. Atlanta leads it. We're in the sixth. Crazy start to this game today. The 0 1 inside. A game that started 27 minutes late because of the rain. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Ground ball the other way. There's a base hit for Kelnick. And he turns it first. Thought about second. Will hold there as Merrifield gets it back in. As you know, Larry, whatever time the game starts, it's right on time. That's when it starts. That's exactly right. Yeah. 
Great to see Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox yeah. throwing out the first pitch. Yeah. Here's a swing and a foul back and uh, into the Hall of Fame club. And a nice catch down there by a fan in front of the Phil's television booth. All right. Oh, one pitch, Acuna swing and a miss. Looked like Kelsey went sinker and uh, Fletcher went four seam. Man, Kelsey had a little cheese on there. Yeah. Yeah. Got it up there right smart. Oh, two. Ripped into center. There's a base hit. And Acuna's aboard. Back to back base hits. Acuna's third of the game. They got back-to-back -back hitters with three hits. They uh, have... Garcia has three. three. Now they're going out to check on Ortiz. They're making sure he's all right. I, I think Ortiz probably wants to sort of help the ball club here, and, and Rob Thompson, I think, is going to shut it down if... He doesn't get the answer he's looking for because, yeah, they're done. I think he's he's trying to play through it with that ankle. Uh, but he's clearly not moving very well. And uh, so they're going to get him out of the game. And Sir Anthony Dominguez is coming on. And he's going to have as much time as he needs to. Uh... SEI can help you grow and protect your business for tomorrow so you can build your brave future. Visit SEIC.com. That's SEIC.com. Sir Anthony Dominguez is on in relief here. He's going to have as much time as he needs to uh, warm up in this one. And that's just another uh, short delay for this one. We had the uh, rain at the start. We had kind of a Crazy start with a long first inning for both clubs. Yep. Max Fried came out of the game before the first inning was over. He managed just two-thirds of an inning. and uh, 15 hits now for the Braves. They've got 28 hits in 14-plus uh, 14 and 14 plus innings. I hope you didn't have uh, plans tonight, Larry. No. You know what I did have plans for? I had some plans to tell you about some weekend baseball, Scott. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the weekend. Well, let me tell you about it then. Make plans to spend your weekends at the ballpark this spring when the Phils host the Pirates for a PA showdown Thursday, April 11th through Sunday, April 14th. And when the White Sox come to town Friday, April 19th through Sunday, April 21st. And you can order tickets now at phillies.com, but you probably don't need one. Do I need a ticket? No, I don't think so. Yeah, 
Because you're working at those days. I think so. I think I'm on the schedule. I don't believe I'm working all those games. Which ones? The White Sox? White Sox. Taking that weekend off? Is that a weekend? I guess I am. Didn't you just talk about weekend baseball? Yeah, I did, but I'm I not hanging already. on your every <laughs> word. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was weekends with Larry. That's I thought that right. was the deal. You had to work on the weekend. Uh, no, that was different. Oh, that's a different year. <laughs> Got a new schedule this yeah. year. All right, back to play here. As Dominguez says, he's ready to go. Ozzy Albie's the batter. There's nobody out. Two runners on. Kelnick at second. Acuna at first. First pitch to Albie's. And it's, uh, I don't know, a little bit wide or high or a little. Want to know the count. And the pitch. That's outside. Albies is a two for three today with a homer and a single. He drove in two in the first. Career high, 109 runs batted in. Career high, 33 homers last year. The 2 0. Man, that one's in there for a strike. 97 from Dominguez. Sir Anthony, 5 and 5 last year, a 378 earned run average in 57 appearances. The pitch fouled back over the screen. Dominguez ended up with a seven blown saves last year. Had just two saves and nine chances. Mm. Dominguez, the 2-2, swung on and blasted deep, but foul down the right side. That was uh, headed for uh, the employee suite down in the right field corner. That's where Murph likes to hang out during <laughs> yeah. games. The 2-2. Two, two. And a ground ball foul. First base side. Still 2-2 two two on Ozzy Albies. They one, of the, one of these days, Larry, we should just check out and let Murph do this, and we can go down there. Yeah. The pitch. And he skies another one down the right side. This one well out of play on the first base side. The, uh, they don't have those uh, start the season do overs anymore, do they? When did they ever? No, I guess not. Remember, the Phillies were looking for one last year, too. That's right. 2 2 pitch on the way. Swing and a floater into right field. That's going to fall in for a hit. Around third, Kelnick, he's coming in to score. Around the third goes Acuna. And again, Albies. Another ball crushed. Put the ball in play and good things happen. And that's what the Braves are doing right now. It's 8 to 4 Atlanta. Hmm. That's uh, the second hit I've got today that's uh, below 70 miles an hour. <laughs> There's probably more. Infield creeping in now. Riley the batter. And the first pitch from Dominguez outside for ball one. Nobody out here. And uh, the Braves, who beat the Phillies 9-3 to yesterday, poised to get into the same territory here today.
Hobbies, who had 13 last year's first steal of this season. The pitch swung on, hit towards third, and Bohm diving to his left makes the catch. Bohm's looking around the infield for an umpire to make an out call. I was looking too, <laughs> and I still haven't seen it. It was finally Mark Wagner at third made the signal. There's Matt Olson. Olson, one for three today with a home run to right. The pitch swung on, fouled away. 97 in on the hands. You either rooted for me or rooted against me. Join myself and my co-host Harrison Sanford on the Inside the Green Room podcast. It's a podcast that brings you never before. Or told tales from the locker room to candid interviews with basketball legends to breakdowns of what's happening in the NBA right now. Whether you're a diehard fan or casual about your hoops, this podcast brings you the game like never before. Follow Inside the Green Room on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. You're tuned to an Odyssey station that is airing a Major League Baseball game. Due to league restrictions, you're not in an area where this game is available. This station will return to regular... have a run in this inning, but they had second and third, and nobody out, and have not added on. Arizona takes outside, one and one. A light breeze here at the ballpark, but nothing like we endured yesterday. One one pitch. Swung on, lifted in the air to left field, fairly deep, going back, Merrifield at the wall, he re looks up, it's gone, home run! We got a winner, and Marcel's got his first hit of the season, a three-run shot, and it's 11-4 to Atlanta. And to be honest with you, Ben, I didn't think he got enough of it, but he's so strong, and even behind in the count, he launched one. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Coming off the bat, it looked like it might reach the warning track, but once I saw Merrifield get to the wall the way that he was reacting, that told me everything I needed to know. I know, by the way, there's career run scored number 500 for Ozzy. You bet. And $1,150 to Adam Jansen from Powder Springs, Georgia, our first winner of the year. Three home runs on the day for the Braves. Here's Michael Harris, who's three for three. He takes low ball one. Michael has walked, doubled, and single. He's two for two. He's been on base three times. Swinging a foul tip. One and one the count. Eleven runs on 17 hits for the Braves. And adding more misery to the bullpen for the Phillies. Stretch on the pitch. Swung on foul back just below us. Four runs in the inning. Two belong to Ortiz and two belong to Sir Anthony Dominguez. Harris waits and takes. Even the count two and two. Two out, nobody on. Four runs in. Breaking ball. Muto was headed to the dugout, but he'll have to stop. And it's a full count. Thought they got a backdoor strike called on Michael, but not so. So we'll have a payoff pitch, and it's on the way. Fouled off his foot, first base side. Hopefully that got some of the shin guard Michael wears, but I don't think it did. Two-run homer by Albies in the first, solo homer by Olsen in the third, and a three-run shot by Ozuna here in the sixth. Woohoo! 
almost in foul by Harris. Out of play. Yeah, this is definitely an inning fitting for the first woohoo of the season. <laughs> Here's Johnson up in the Braves bullpen. Looks like he would be next in the bottom of the sixth whenever that gets here. Michael goes after a high fastball, comes up empty. He fans, but the inning is over for the Braves after they scored four runs on four hits. Nobody left. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 11 to 4 Atlanta. Your spring is about to get a lot more power with the Home Depot. Get gas-like power from mowing, trimming, and blowing with the Ryobi 18-volt OnePlus system starting at just $89. Mowing power that can take on a third of an acre with one charge. Trimming power with up to two hours of runtime. And blowing power with 110 miles per hour of clearing force. All on one interchangeable battery. Get cordless gas-like power for the entire lawn with the Ryobi 18-volt OnePlus system only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Pitchers and catchers are reporting for duty. Now's your chance to step up to the plate. Use your baseball knowledge to win big on prize picks. America's number one fantasy sports app with season-long stat projections available now. Right now, prize picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the prize picks app and use code HOMERUN. That's code HOMERUN on prize picks for a first deposit match of up to $100. Prize picks. Pick more. Pick less. It's that easy. Hey Braves fans, spring and warm weather are officially here and you know what that means. Bugs, termites, mosquitoes, ants and roaches will be out in full force. Luckily, you can trust the pros at Arrow Exterminators to keep your home pest free inside and out. Arrow Exterminators protects homes and businesses and is the official pest control provider of Truist Park and the Atlanta Braves. So you know that you're getting the best from the best. To set up a free pest inspection, call 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. That's 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. Um. Stop by Racetrack for Swirl World. Make your own frozen yogurt creations with all your favorite toppings, all for a flat price, no matter the way. Racetrack, proud hometown partner of the Atlanta Braves. Hey, it's Buck Ballou, and I've got you covered on everything from Braves to college football every weekday from 10 to 11, only on The Fan. So Braves into the bottom of the sixth inning, 11-4 Atlanta. The Braves go to right-hander Pierce Johnson. Righty for the Braves came on yesterday, pitched one inning, scoreless, had a couple of strikeouts. So his second appearance of the season, coming up uh, after a pretty good uh, spring training where he put up a 257 ERA. Nick Castellanos will lead off for the Phillies. Since one foul and out of play. Castellanos today has walked and flied out. Tyler Matzik, good job. An inning and a third, two hits, zeros across otherwise. The 0 1 swung on, line to right center, and a base hit. One hopper out to Michael Harris in right center, and Castellanos, a leadoff single in the sixth. Bryson Stotts had a good day. He's two for two. Fans in bold flavor is something you're after. Grab a bottle of Tim of the original Louisiana brand hot sauce. The official hot sauce of the Atlanta Braves. The original Louisiana brand hot sauce. Flavor favors the bold. I know you thought I was going to say bring the heat, didn't you? Stott takes a curveball for a strike. for the strikeout yesterday. He's driven in two runs today. That was in the first inning. Ground ball to second. Might be two. They'll have to hurry. Ozzie to Arcia to Olsen. Got him. Double play. Jeremy Rehack with the call at first base. That was a bang-bang play at first. 4-6-3. Say what? When Orlando Arcia cuts it loose, it's got a little heat on it. Double play turned by the Braves. Two out, nobody on for Merrifield. He's 0 for 2. Makes a way off the plate. Ball one. Bring 
makes it a second double play. Matt Olson turned an unassisted double play earlier in the game on a line drive. 2-0 now to Merrifield. When Merrifield was late getting to the big leagues, you want to call it that, but he's made the most of it since. As Ben told you earlier, he has really played well in the American League. Ducks away from a high fastball. 3-0. Forty-four thousand four hundred and sixty-eight is a sellout. Three and zero pitches a strike. Sixteen more folks than we had yesterday, I think. Here's Johnson delivers high and tight, almost hit him. Ball four. Russell Bat with two out and runner at first. He has struck out and grounded out. Braves up 11 to 4. They've out hit him 17 to 7. They've out homered him 3 to 1. Over but low for Pierce Johnson. All one. Rojas, only 23 years old, made his debut last year, late last year for the Phillies. Played in center field for them during the postseason. Curveball, ducked by Rojas and missed. Pierce thought he had a strike, 2-0. Rojas, right-handed batter all the way. Stands in and the pitch. Another curve and there's a strike. Two and one. Here's his curveball is a beauty. He can throw it in just about any count. Comes set at the chest. Kicks and delivers. And a ground ball bounced right back to him. High chopper. Johnson's got it. Toss to first in time and that'll end the inning. No runs. One hit, one left. We played six. Braves up 11 to four. I got hurt in a car wreck. Why should I call a Ken Nugent law firm? Because when you're hurt, you need money. You deserve it. And my law firm goes and gets it for you. This is also what I'm looking for. Why wouldn't I call the Ken Nugent law firm? Our job is to get you as much money as possible for your case. One call, that's all. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Call 1 800 Call Ken. Client Portrayal. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC, Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast, Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Braves fans, this season has just started and everyone's first pick for ice cold refreshment is back at McDonald's. The Braves Frozen Fanta, a winning blend of Frozen Fanta Blue Raspberry and Frozen Fanta Wild Cherry. It's the MVP of flavor. And right now you can get a medium for only $1.99. That's what I call knocking your cravings out of the park for a grand slam of a deal. There are drinks, then there are drinks from McDonald's. Prices of participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Coca-Cola and Fanta are registered trademarks of the Coca-Cola Company. Grandma, can I have the chocolate chips? This secret recipe moment made possible by Emory Heart and Vascular Center. When Grandma needed heart care, she came to Emory. The difference? Emory Healthcare performs more heart procedures. It's Matt Chernoff. Join me and the King weekday afternoons, 2 to 6, for Chuck and Chernoff, only on the fan. We go to the 7th. Braves up 11 to 4. Junior Marte will come on and work the seventh for the Phillies. He pitched the ninth last night to Arcia, but no other damage. He is the third reliever used by the Phillies today. And it's Ben Arcia will lead it off against him here in the seventh. And once again for us, here's Ben. Thank you, Joe. Let's see if Arcia can go four for four. He's had a great day. A double in the second, single in the third, single in the fifth. And now facing Marte. Marcia doubled off of Marte yesterday. Saw him right at the end of the ball game. Orlando climbing in. First pitch on the way from Marte. Took something off. Missed a little bit low. 
first pitch slider on ball, no strikes. This is a guy the Phillies added last year. They traded Eric Miller to the Giants for him. 1-0 pitch on the way inside. So this is his second season of the Phillies organization. And the way that things are going right now for the Phillies through the first 15 innings of the season, they're looking for some consistency out of the bullpen. Arcia cranks one foul right outside the bag at third. But yesterday, they used Strom, Hoffman, Alvarado, Brogdon, and Marte. And those five relievers surrendered nine runs. And then today, it's been Ortiz, Dominguez, and now Marte. And Ortiz and Dominguez gave up four runs each. It'll be fouled back by Arcio. So what was billed as a matchup of two of the best teams in the National League in this series, one of the biggest reasons because of the strength of their two bullpens. Well, the Braves bullpen... Pretty rock solid. Phillies this series, not so much. Here's the 2-2 to Arcia. He reaches out and rolls one out to short. That'll be taken at shortstop by Trey Turner. Just throw to Harper in time for the out and one down. Braves and Phillies win this series tomorrow. Phillies have the Reds coming to town. Didn't you tell me that before the game? Yes. Yeah, their schedule in April not really as strong as some teams have. It's a ball low and into Travis. They have the Reds coming in, and then they go on the road to Washington and St. Louis. Come home to finish up April. They play the Pirates, the Pirates and the Rockies, and the White Sox. Long homestand. Low it inside of Travis Tuno. Finish up the month at Cincinnati, San Diego, and the Angels. Braves won yesterday 9-3 and leading the day 11-4. 2-0, broken bat pop up on the infield. All four infielders converging. This will be Bohm's ball. Takes it going across the back of the mound. His hat flew off and his long hair bouncing about shoulder length. And two down in the inning. That'll bring Kelnick up to the plate. This is the 16th inning of the season for the Braves. They've gone down in order one time. That was yesterday. That's a pretty good sign. Kelnick takes ball low and outside. That was a 1-2-3 fourth inning yesterday. In every other inning, they've had at least one man reach. Already scored 20 runs this season. 1-0 pitch. Wave it a miss by Kelnick. So more runs scored than innings played to this point. That's always a good sign. And 30 hits. I like it when your nine-hole hitter is three for three, too. Yeah, no doubt. And a great day for Jared. 1-1 one, one low and outside. And 20 runs and 30 hits for the Braves. And this their 16th inning of coming to the plate. Two on, waving a, uh, waving a miss by Kelnick. Two and two. I keep going back to really two ABs for Kelnick at spring training. And it, it's it's amazing how sometimes when you watch these players and sometimes something will click in one at bat that sends the player a different direction. And that's what has been the case for Kelnick. 2-2, two, two, lifted foul into the seats down the left field line. But he, he was really scuffling for the first two, three weeks of spring training. Bunch of strikeouts, bunch of ground outs, not squaring anything up. And then he came to the plate, won at bat with a runner at second base and no one out. And he had a rocket to right field that was caught and the runner moved from second to third. And he was able to move that runner up and help the ball club in that moment. 2-2 two, two pitch, check swing. The appeal didn't go. And it's like that gave him a boost of confidence, just helping the, the ball club out. And it's and because he squared it up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he came to the plate the next day, be a few innings later, had a 12-pitch battle, and hit a laser up the middle for a base hit. 3-2 fouled off into the seats down the left field line. And since then, he's been squaring up a ball, seems like, every time he comes to the plate. Hit a homer the last spring training game. Just missed a home run yesterday. So much contact from Kelnick. 3-2. 
Bought off foul. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Atlanta Braves radio network. This is Atlanta's one and only home for Braves baseball. WCNN North Atlanta, a Dickey broadcasting station. The Fan, 680 and 93.7 FM. Waiting on the 3-2. Here it is. And there's ball four outside. He's on base again. What a good at bat. That'll extend the inning for Ronald Acuna. Braves have an 11-4 lead here in the top of the seventh inning. That's only the second walk they've received, though. Everything else has been done with the bats. Acuna with a hard ground ball to short. Backhanded there by Turner. The short round to second. They get the force out of Kelnick. And that ends the top of the seventh inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left. And it's time for the seventh inning stretch brought to you by the Warrior Lions. Going to bat for veterans and their families by helping them navigate success after military service. To learn more, go to thewarriorlions.org. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning. 11-4 Braves. No matter the obstacles, setbacks, twists and turns, Never lose sight of the destination. Because when you get there, the next adventure is just beginning. I'm Mike Harris the second. Follow your own path. Check out the Ford Bronco and Ford Bronco Sport SUVs at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of your Atlanta Braves. Some models, trims, and features may not be available and may be subject to change. in a car wreck. Why should I call the Ken Nugent Law Firm? Because when you're hurt, you need money. You deserve it. And my law firm goes and gets it for you. Results are what I'm looking for. Why wouldn't I call the Ken Nugent Law Firm? Our job is to get you as much money as possible for your case. One call, that's all. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Braves. Call 1-800-CALL-CAN. Client for trail. Spoke person for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC, Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast, Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Swing into action this baseball season with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app and the official partner of the Atlanta Braves. With Prize Picks, all it takes is a few taps on your phone to join the action and win up to 100 times your cash. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their stat projections, and place your entry. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit of up to $100. Just download the Prize Picks app and use code BRAVES Prize Picks. Pick more, pick less, it's that easy. Dive into the ultimate dining experience at National Anthem Atlanta in the heart of the Battery Atlanta and the Omni Hotel, the official hotel of the Atlanta Braves. Book your stay at omnihotels.com slash Battery Atlanta. We're streaming every game of the Braves 2024 season free on the 680 The Fan app. So make sure you download it now and don't miss a pitch of the Braves this season. Here's Johnson worked an inning for the Braves, gave up a hit and a walk, but no runs. Dylan Lee on to work now. Boy, listen to these numbers for him from spring training. He was in more games than any other pitcher. He was in nine games. And in ten innings, he struck out 15 batters and didn't walk anybody. Coming off some shoulder soreness and injury from last year. It is uh, very strong this spring. Starts it off with the ball low and outside of Kyle Schwarber. For the Braves, it's gone Freed, Chavez, Matzik, Johnson, and Lee. Here's a 1-0 pitch to Schwarber. We'll foul one back. They get one and one. This thing was a seesaw early on. Braves had a 2-0 lead going to the bottom of the first inning. Philly scored three times. They took a 3-2 lead to the second inning. Braves answered with three of their own in the second, then two more in the third. Phillies picked up one in the third. They haven't scored since then. One on the ground ball to second base. Taken on the third bounce by Ozzy. Good form. Throws over. One down. And then the Braves had a four-run sixth inning. They have a very comfortable seven-run lead here in the seventh inning. Folks, the Braves know that big wins come from bold plays. That's why the original Louisiana brand hot sauce is the official hot sauce of the Atlanta Braves. The original Louisiana brand hot sauce flavor favors the bold. I know they have a new tagline this year with the flavor favors the bold, but we still have to mix in some bring the heat here and there. Well, I was just saying to everybody, I know they expect me to say that when I'm reading. <laughs> Did you sign a Turner? I can tell you this much, the best place to drop a bring the heat will be when we get to Chicago. We're going to need some heat. One out of Turner. Reach and a miss, one and one. 
We were talking about the forecast earlier, and we're prepared. I mean, we, we knew that this had the potential to be pretty rough when we packed for spring training. We got gloves and jackets and hats, whatever else. 1-1, one, one, Mrs. Lowe. And it did look pretty peculiar to look at my closet during spring training when it's 80, 85 every day. And I've got jackets and pullovers and fleeces and all that sitting in the closet. We're going to need it when we get to Chicago. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Turner. Let him miss outside. They were like guys at the end of the bullpen. You know, pitchers keep going eight or nine innings. You don't need those guys close games out. It's kind of like that with your sweater. Or <laughs> you are going to need them. Here's a 3-1. He pops one up, foul ground, third base side. Riley to the railing, and he's out of room. That lands in the seats. I was trying to condition us for Chicago during spring training because I'll, I'll blast that air conditioner. I think I was freezing out J. Chad for six weeks. Uh huh. Had that thermostat down in the low 60s. It was frigid in that house. See, there's nothing wrong with that. I like it. Where you can hang meat in my bedroom, too. <laughs> There's a 3 2. Fouled off. I can't sleep if it's hot. It could be the middle of the winter. I still want it cold in the bedroom. I remember those stories that I read about for major league players who traveled by train, and go to the hot parts of the country during the summer, like St. Louis. Right. 3 2 from Dylan Lee. Load inside ball four. They didn't have air conditioning. Certainly they had the windows open at night, but they would soak their sheets in the bathtub and then put them back on the bed and sleep on wet sheets. Is that right? Because it was so hot and they were so uncomfortable. For goodness. That sounds horrible. I know. <laughs> they would have really enjoyed our Delta Charter. There's Bryce Harper to the plate. 11-4 Braves, bottom of the seventh. Yes, they would. Ground ball to first base. Glove by Olsen. Steps on first. He throws down to second. Tag applied. Double play. Excellent double play. Olsen and Arcia. And for the third time of the ball game, the Braves have turned two. The second time with Bryce Harper on the front end of that. So that ends the bottom of the seventh. No runs, no hits, no errors, none left. We head to the top of the eighth. 11-4 Braves. Baseball season is officially here, and there's no better time to build your collection of Topps trading cards. Topps packs feature everything from top stars, rookies, game-used memorabilia, and autographs from players around the league, as well as special inserts and surprises. Visit your local hobby shop, retailers, and Topps.com to collect the first product of the season. Topps Baseball Series 1. Follow at Topps on social media to join the conversation and start sharing your collection today. Hey, don't strike out in your next roofing project. Braves fans, this is Joe Simpson. If you need a new roof, it's time to call Matt's Exteriors. Matt's Exteriors is a GAF Master Elite Contractor, and they offer a 10-year workmanship warranty. Did I mention they are also a proud sponsor of the Atlanta Braves? Matt's Exteriors also has a 15-plus year proven track record, and they have over 9,000 satisfied customers. To schedule your free estimate today, visit mattsexteriors.com. That's mattsexteriors.com. Can I have the chocolate chips? This secret recipe moment made possible by Emory Heart and Vascular Center. When Grandma needed heart care, she came to Emory. The difference? Emory Healthcare performs more heart procedures annually than anyone else in Georgia, which means better outcomes for our patients. And we offer advanced and personalized treatments developed by our top specialists that others don't. Like Grandma knows, where you start your heart care matters. Smart cookie. EmoryHealthcare.org slash smart cookie. No one's got you covered, Braves country, the way that my Myself and my partner, Nick Cellini, do starting 11 o'clock on 680 The Fan, the 680 The Fan app. Braves baseball every day this year with 680 The Fan. Hard throwing Gregory Soto will come on for the Phillies and work the eighth inning. Soto can run it up there to 100 miles an hour, 96 to 100 with a slider. He's not the only change. Alec Bohm from third base to first base. 
Bryce Harper has come out of the game. And Mundo Sosa checks in to play third base, and he will bat in Harper's place. Braves up 11-4, going to the eighth. And thousands heading for the exits here in Philadelphia. And for that double play, and Harper coming out of the game. A lot more empty blue seats opening up down there. Sellout crowd, 44,468, but they're starting to spill out of here. Ozzy coming to the plate. Three hit day for Ozzy Albee. Set the tone with a two run homer back in the first inning. The 11 runs, 17 hits, no errors for the Braves. Four runs, seven hits, no errors for the Phillies. There's pitch from Soto. Out of his load, Ozzy Albee's. And three of their four runs came in the first inning when Max Fried only went two thirds of an inning. Not all of it his fault. A ground ball to the right side to his left, gloving in shallow right as Stott spins and throws, and a pretty good stretch off the bag by Bohm to secure the out. Well, that might squeak through and find daylight for a base hit, but a good defensive play to get Ozzy. And one down here in the top of the eighth inning. It looked like Max is going to get out of the inning with a strikeout of Castellanos with the bases loaded, but instead it was called a ball, and that they went on to get three runs in the inning. Austin Riley takes the ball low and in. Looking back on that, so many times throughout the season, there's a pitch that a pitcher wants where he's trying to get the corner, edges of the strike zone, and it doesn't go your way. And that pitcher wants it. Of course, we would want it. 1-0 pitch, smacked to deep left center field, back there towards the gap at the wall. That hits off the base of the left center field wall. Austin Riley in for second base. There's another double. Braves are collecting double after double after double. Finishing that thought on Freed, this wasn't a borderline call that didn't go his way. It was grooved right down the middle bell time. But the Braves' bat certainly picked up Max, as they have left no doubt today, leaving 11, leading 11-4. 11 Wilson fouls one back, just to our left. Hundred miles an hour on that one from Soto. Strike on Olsen. Big lefty Soto brings a pitch. And for a call strike, 99 right at the knees at the bottom of the zone. Olsen fouls one back just under our booth. Let's see, six doubles yesterday. Day. So 10 doubles for the Braves in this series. Wilson sends one foul up into the second deck deep down the left field line. I love that he tried to kind of slide step quick pitch Matt. And Matt was ready for him. This guy's a big guy. Soto, 6'2", 235 out of the Dominican Republic. Wilson takes time, digs back in. The big three-run double yesterday in the comeback victory. It was low and outside. I guess technically this would be considered a comeback win for the Braves as they're trailing 3-2 at the end of one, but they've led all day. Something the Braves did a lot of last season. Two fouled off. How about this? The Braves had 42 come from behind wins last season. That was tied for the fifth most in baseball. And their 429 winning percentage in games in which they trailed at any point was the best in the National League. Olsen hits one sky high towards deep left center field. Johan Rojas to his right. Circles around the back of it and makes the play. And two down in the inning. As if uh, the score wasn't bad enough, now it's beginning to rain. And so the fans are really 
Oh, so we need to get out of here. Two down to the top of the eighth. Here's Ozuna. Marcel delivered that knockout blow with a three-run homer back in the sixth inning. He climbs in with raindrops falling here at the ballpark. Marcel spits on ball one, low and outside. Ozuna grounds one out to first. That eats up Bohm. He bobbles, recovers. Underhand toss to Soto, and he wins the race with the bag. That was pretty tricky. Yeah, it was. Well, that saved a run. That ends the inning. Well, the Braves, no runs. One hit. No errors. Had a man left. Into the bottom of the eighth. Braves 11, Phillies 4. This is your invitation to a master class in engineering and design. Your ticket to go from 0 to 60 with the Lexus Performance Line. A feeling this dynamic is invite only. Fortunately, you're invited. Experience the exhilaration of the Lexus Performance Line and some of the best offers of the year on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event, now through April 1st. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. The original Louisiana brand hot sauce is the official hot sauce of the Atlanta Braves. And just like a fastball that catches the edge of the plate, the original Louisiana brand hot sauce always strikes the perfect note. Aggressive enough to wake up your taste buds without overpowering your meal. So whether you're celebrating another Braves win or just spicing up your game day grub, grab the original Louisiana brand hot sauce. Flavor favors the bowl. You're not afraid to get dirty. You know there's strength in sweat, pride in a hard day's work, and power in a great team. We agree the best teams run like a well-oiled machine. That's why you need a Yanmar tractor on your roster. The tractor rated number one in product quality by the EDA five years running. From digging and grading to tilling and mowing. Get more done. Take less time. Yanmar gets you to the game faster. See all their tractors online at yanmartractor.com. That's yanmartractor.com. Tickets for the Braves 2024 season are going fast. This season is jam-packed with great matchups. Get your tickets at Braves.com slash tickets. You want a good start to the day? How about the Braves? Coffee and the locker room. Home team here, 6 to 10 on the fan, 680 and the 680 the fan app. Bottom of the eighth inning, Braves 11, Phillies 4. Vero Buto to lead off for the Phillies. This is the Yanmar strikeout, the side inning. We'll see if Dylan Lee can make a winner out of Joseph Roberts in Woodstock, Georgia. And in the Yanmar strikeout, the side inning. If a Braves pitcher strikes out the side, then the contestant that night will be the lucky winner of a brand new Yanmar UTV. Yanmar, get more done, take less time. I'll tell you how you can enter. Right after this pitch to J.T. Romuto. He'll hit one hard down the left field line, and that's a foul ball right outside the line into the corner. If you'd like to interview your chance to win a Yanmar utility terrain vehicle, visit braves.com slash Yanmar and sign up today. And all you have to do is be the contestant and have that pitcher that night in the eighth inning strike out the side, one, two, three. And you'll get a Yanmar UTV. Those things are awesome. Joseph Roberts at Woodstock, Georgia, our contestant this evening. No balls and a strike. Romuto takes called strike 0 and 2. Let's see, the Nationals won today. Yeah, they beat the Reds 7 to 6. Here's the 0 2 pitch. I could have missed by Romuto. He strikes out. And if. That had not happened. The Nationals had a three-run ninth to come back and win that game. The Reds had held on to win, assuming this score holds. And the Braves, three days into the season, still be the only team in the division with a win. Wouldn't that be something? I'm going to check here. See if Eddie Rosario, yeah, Eddie Rosario started in center, went to left field for the Nats, went one for four with an RBI. Home of the ground ball out to third. Charging and scooping Riley. That's a nice play. It fires on the run. Two down. So no winner of the Yanmar strike out the side inning, but two down. And Joseph Roberts in Woodstock, we appreciate you playing. It's weird to think about Eddie in center field, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 
He might be thinking it's weird, too. <laughs> you know? they, they told him to go to center field. He went, huh? <laughs> it's all about me. Two down for Castellanos. 11-4 Braves, bottom of the eighth. Castiano swings and misses. Pirates beat the Marlins 9-3, so they sweep that opening series in Miami. Jared Jones, a guy that we saw in spring training, made his major league debut and struck out 10 and got the win for the Pirates. He did it in only five-plus innings. 22 years old, throws really hard, really good stuff. He was very impressive during spring training. To Castellanos, with a wave and a miss, so and two. Yeah, they got a pretty good little rotation working over there in Pittsburgh. They do. They're getting Jones up and Paul Steen's on the way. In fact, he made his Triple A debut today. And they've got some really good pitching products on the way. There's a ball low. Marco Gonzalez mm -hmm. from the Braves, mm -hmm. actually from the Mariners, by way of the Braves in the off season. We were looking at their prospects list. Here's a one-two from Lee to Castellanos. And he'll poke one out to second, out of the air. Ozzy's got it for the third out. Yeah, Pirates have four pitchers in the top 100 of minor league prospects across Major League Baseball. So they're going to be good on the mound for a while as soon as they, assuming they can keep them all. We head to the ninth inning, 11-4 Braves. Throughout Georgia and around the nation, military service members turn in their uniforms and face new challenges as they rejoin civilian life. Warriors deserve our support in navigating their journey back home. The Warrior Alliance, an official community partner of the Atlanta Braves and the Atlanta Braves Foundation, is the only personalized network that connects warriors to providers in areas such as employment, education, health care, housing, legal, and much more. To learn more or to donate, go to thewarrioralliance.org or call 404-210-1776. The Warrior Alliance, helping warriors navigate to success after service. Hey, Braves fans, the best offer in baseball is back. Right now, with magenta status, T-Mobile customers get a free MLB.tv subscription. Stream your team all season long by visiting T-Mobile.com slash MLB today. Don't miss your chance for a steal like this. Free MLB.tv ends April 1st. Access T-Life mobile app to sign up for MLB.tv. Qualifying plan required. Blackouts and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. If you haven't heard by now, SeatGeek is the new official ticket marketplace of the Atlanta Braves. So whether you're buying or selling tickets to Atlanta Braves games, SeatGeek is the number one destination for all your ticket needs. But that's not all. If you're looking to score tickets to other events at Truist Park, the Battery, or events across the southeastern United States, SeatGeek is the place to do it. From baseball to ballet, R&B to country, find it all on SeatGeek, the official ticket marketplace of the Atlanta Braves. SeatGeek, your ticket to great Braves seats. Braves have a great leadoff hitter, and we have a great leadoff show. It's called The Locker Room. Your first chance to react to the Braves on the fan 680 at 93.7 FM. Play continues in the rain here at Citizens Bank Park. We go to the ninth. Connor Brogdon, who worked a third of an inning yesterday, gave up a hit in two walks and two runs. will come on and get his second outing, and he'll face Harris, Arcia, and Darneau for the Braves. Brogdon hasn't even thrown a pitch, and he wants new baseball. There's the old one aside, gets a new one. Now he rubs him up, boy. He sure does. Clean every pitch. He couldn't rub him up hard enough yesterday. No. Gave up two runs in a third of an inning. Michael Harris up to the plate, and Harris hits one way up through the raindrops, deep to right field, back to the wall, Castellanos, so long. Michael Harris on a tear, blistering one high and deep in the right field and out of the ballpark. And it's 12-4. to four. That's the fourth home run of the ball game for the Braves, just as we predicted, yep. right before the first pitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, Michael. I don't think Michael's thinking about player of the week. I think he's thinking about player of the year. Yeah. I think he's been thinking about it since that very first pitch of spring training that he launched out in Port Charlotte when right. he fouled off by Arcia. Up on that building. Selfishly, I want one more hit to get to 20. Braves sitting on 19 hits for the game. 
Here's the 0 1. Marcia takes the ball low. Braves have gotten homers from Albies, Olsen, Ozuna, and Harris. 1 1 pitch, low it outside. No home runs yesterday in a 9-3 win with 13 base hits. And today, 12 runs, 19 hits, and 4 homers. 2-1 misses high. 3-1. and one. Well, If Brogdon wanted another new baseball, that's one way to get one. Yeah, he got one right away, didn't he? <laughs> There's a 3-1 pitch. Marcia swings and misses 3-2. I think if I were Caleb Cotham, the first thing I'd do for Brogdon to try to get him right is quit rubbing the ball up. Forty-two pitch. This time for ball four. They are missing Dylan Covey out of their pen. They're missing Orion Kirkering out of their bullpen, who's been battling a bad flu bug all spring, but... Apparently is back throwing again and should be ready to go in a few days. So they're a little, a little short on some of their key people here in the early going. And their closer, Craig Kimber, will go to Baltimore. Travis Darno takes a call and strike. Rain still lightly falling here in Philadelphia. Overcast, just a little bit of light left in the sky. This night is descending quickly. It'll be fouled back by Darno. I want to remind you the Braves have an exciting lineup of giveaways this season, including the Ronald Acuna Jr. Bobblehead Series. And the first giveaway of the series is April 24th, commemorating his record 73 stolen bases last season. That'll be presented by Xfinity. Visit Braves.com slash promos. Get your tickets. With a little looper out to right field coming in Castellanos. He's under it. And he squeezes out number one here in the ninth inning. Man in the hands of Jared Kelnick. Been up to the plate four times, been on base four times. RBI single in the second, RBI single in the third, single and a run scored in the sixth inning, and a walk in the seventh. How do you like that for your number nine hitter? Awesome. Take a ball high. It just means so much as we talked earlier to get off to a good start after the struggles he had in spring training and let him settle in, be confident, and feel like he's a big part of this team, which he is. Don't forget that great catch he made, too. What oh, misses low it in. Well, and that, as you mentioned, saved a run and in that moment could have changed the trajectory of the game. Yeah, that, that out was right before Real Muto hit a homer. Sends one foul. That'll find the upper deck along the third baseline. Top of the ninth, 12 4 Braves. Marcia just hanging out over there at first base. They're not holding him on. 2 1 pitch all the way. Fouled back, 2 and 2. Ball game tomorrow, 135 Eastern. Chris Sale versus Ranger Suarez. A couple of lefties. It'll be Chris Sale's debut. And by the way, happy birthday to Chris Sale. He's 35 today. Two, two pitch on the way. Ground ball ramps off the mound. Take it in short by Turner. Steps on second to get one. And over to first to get two. And that double play ends the top of the ninth inning. But the Braves tag on another tally with a long ball for Michael Harris. His first of the year. One run, two hits. Correction, one run, one hit. No errors, none left. We head to the bottom of the ninth inning, 12-4 Braves. Everyone needs car insurance. Legally, you got to have it. The good news is that you have a lot of choices in who to work with. Why not buy coverage from a company that invests your dollars back into your community? Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance supports grassroots efforts that strengthen communities and protect our access to locally grown food. Because they're local, they have excellent service and response time. This is insurance you can feel good about. Get a quote at gfbinsurance.com. When you're looking for leading cardiac treatment, 
Look to Northside Hospital Heart Institute. We lead with five emergency cardiac care centers, so we're here when you need us most. We lead with more than 55 locations in Georgia. That means we're always in the heart of your neighborhood. We lead with clarity, because clear direction is better when it comes to understanding every step of your treatment. Northside Hospital Heart Institute. We lead with heart. This is for anyone doing plumbing, pipe fitting, or HVAC work. If you're not making $53 an hour total package, including health insurance, benefits, and a retirement pension, we want to talk to you. We're the plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVACR techs of UA72, and we've got a job for you. Safe conditions, working with great people in Metro Atlanta. Visit UA72.org, click join us, and we'll send you a list of openings right now. UA72.org. Win up to $100,000 every three and a half minutes playing Kino. Georgia Lottery, today could be the day. Hey, Braves country, I work with the best baseball man in the city of Atlanta, Chris Domino, Cellini and Domino weekdays on the fan 680 and 93.7 FM and the fan app. Getting his first work of the year in a non-safe situation. Rysel Iglesias will come on and work the ninth with the Braves up 12-4. Last year, a 275 ERA is the closer for Atlanta, and he was 33 for 37 in save opportunities. He was terrific, and he'll work to the bottom half of the order with the Braves up 12-4. Facing Stott, and then Merrifield and Rojas. Phillies have gone down in order twice in the ball game. Happened in the second inning, happened in the eighth inning. It's from Iglesias. First pitch swinging, lined out to left field. Here comes Kelnick, another dive, and this time he can't come up with it. Off of his glove, kicks out in front of him. He's on it, throws to second base, throws off the mark, rolls past second, backing up the play, Matt Olson to secure it. Rice and Stott with a double. Almost another great defensive play by Kelnick. Only got leather on it. Have to watch that replay. I think he did. Yeah, man. Really kind of waffled his glove. Yeah. yeah. The heel. If there's one part about his defense, I would say they might try to urge him to play a little shallower, especially with a left handed hitter like Stop is. Merrifield to the ground ball to short. Arce has got it. Throws to third base with a runner on the move. And there's a base running mistake by Stott. And he runs into an out. Builder's choice for Merrifield. And it goes 6-5 to five on the put out. When you're losing 12-4, to four, as I've said before, nothing makes you look worse than poor defense and bad base running. Here's an example of the latter. One down for Rojas. He's 0 for 3. A couple of ground outs and a strikeout. First pitch from Iglesias misses low. Fastball 92 for Marcel Iglesias. Braves looking to improve to 2 0 on the season. They'll take the series against the Phillies. There's a pop up on the infield. A little bloop out there towards second. Ozzy's there. Two away. will set themselves up to go for a sweep tomorrow. Kyle Schwarber digging in. He's been to the plate four times, a single and a run scored. One side of that, a couple of ground outs and a pop out. Runner goes, pitches a strike 0-1. Defensive indifference, gets Merrifield down to second base. to Schorber. Swing and a miss, 0-2. One more strike from Iglesias, and the Braves will take the series and go for a sweep in Philly tomorrow. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that's a great start, especially on the road. Definitely a statement made. 0-2 to Schorber. Check swing. Didn't go. Who are you giving the win to? Ooh, man, I got to think about that one. I guess Jesse. That's my guy. 
one-two pitch. A swing and a miss for strike three, and the Braves take the series in Philly as they body slam the Phillies by a final score of 12 to four. Braves belt four home runs, and they were relentless all day behind a 19-hit attack to take down Philadelphia. Final score, Braves 12, Phillies 4. Back with the totals after this. Looking for the perfect match? Oh, yeah. Look at you. Find a vehicle you'll love at the Toyota Ready, Set, Go event. Toyota. Let's go places. Lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for $329 a month for 36 months. Offer valid through April 1st, 2024. Well-qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3628 to its signing. No security deposit with select equipment. 350 disposition fee excludes tax tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. Builders and developers, engineers and planners, do you have a project that needs a cultural resources survey? Then you need to turn to the team of experts at Wiregrass Archaeological Consulting, one of the Southeast's leaders in cultural resources management. The owner, Justin Stickler, and his professional team are capable of completing any type of cultural resources project throughout the Southeast. Learn more about Wiregrass Archaeological Consulting by visiting diggingintothepast.com. That's diggingintothepast.com. City of Hope. We're more than just a top-ranked cancer hospital. For over a hundred years, we've been making breakthroughs, pushing the limits of what's possible, targeting cancer at the molecular level, pioneering treatments used worldwide. At City of Hope, your entire cancer-fighting team is bound together by a single mission, to cure your cancer. And now City of Hope is closer than ever, providing patients in Metro Atlanta the cancer care they deserve. Learn more at cityofhope.org. The Atlanta Braves Kids Club is a free program for Braves fans 14 and under. Visit Braves.com slash kids to learn more. Two of the best teams in the world, your Atlanta Braves and the locker room. Brian Finner in here, and you can listen live Monday to Friday, 6 to 10 a.m., 6 a.m. to the fan, or tap that app. Back to wrap things up at Citizens Bank Park after another Braves victory, 12 to 4, the final. Uh, the player of the game, uh, there's four different guys that hit homers today, and I'm going to give it to somebody who didn't hit a homer. Jared Kelnick had a perfect night until the ninth inning there. Two hits, three hits, and a walk. He was on base four times, scored a run, drove in two, and he was outstanding defensively, made a great catch off Harper to rob him of extra bases. Jared Kelnick, the player of the game, brought to you by Home Depot. Proud to present the player of the game, and they... Uh, let me start over. The Home Depot proud to present today's player of the game, Jared Kelnick. And player of the game built by the Home Depot, how doers get more done. It's a whole lot easier, folks, if you just read the copy instead of trying to make stuff up. Trust me. Here are your line scores. Braves, 12 runs, nine hit, 19 hits, no errors, 6 left. For the Phillies, 4 runs, 8 hits, no errors, 6 left. Jesse Chavez. I can't wait for the White Sox to see that Jesse Chavez got the win today for the Braves. That's awesome. He's 1-0. Aaron Nola is the loser, 0-1. And, and the other side of that is Jesse's just a different guy when he's got a Braves uni on. That's all there is to it. Thank you to the White Sox for releasing him. Time of the game, 2 hours and 58 minutes. We also had a 27-minute rain delay. 44,468 at the ballpark today going home unhappy again. As been told you, Braves will be going for the sweep tomorrow. He'll tell you about the particulars right after this on the Braves Radio Network. No matter where you're headed, Sitco is a good place to start. Whether you're off to the ballpark, dog park, or amusement park, driving range, or drive-in theater, Saturday morning soccer, or Sunday brunch, Sitco Top Tier Tri-Clean Gasoline gets you where you're going and keeps your engine running cleaner and smoother along the way. Whether you're traveling near or far, when you start with Sitco, you're good to go. 